Uh, let's see if it's, uh, it's uh, funky. I can also connect my phone and make five. Shut up. I'm not... Would you really I'm count your phone as a monitor? Yeah. I mean, yeah, if your phone's powerful enough to do it. What is this bullshit? I got a weird ass McDonald's ad with talking potatoes. What? Oh my god, the stream's moving, guys! It's alive! No, it is! The menu is alive! Woohoo! Now it's just a white screen. Is the audio working? Um, it should. Yeah, audio's working. Audio's okay. working. The audio is working. Oh, I'm, I'm on the stream, guys. I'm the little cat in the bottom right corner. No, look at him. Look at him. No, that's being a little dude. Yeah, man. God. Uh, I tapped out, so if it's a little laggy, wait. Even still, even tapped out, it's still loading. Nice and smooth. Yeah, your, your stream's actually, like, running pretty good now. You know, moving at a decent pace. Let's do a couple shenanigans here. Wait, why is it still on custom? I put it on low. Oh. Alright. How are we looking on medium? Hard, bro, you're doing so much better. I'm yeah, so proud of yeah. you, Con. The stream is watchable. There's a couple fragments, but it's, it looks great. What do you mean fragments? It's like like when the uh, video compresses through the stream. It, it leaves a couple of tears in the screen. It's pixelated for a yeah. few seconds. I see, I see. Yeah, uh, you're God. you are fine. Like literally, like bro. When I say this, it's it's so much better now, John. Yeah, it's so much better. Well, yesterday when I joined, I was able to see. I, I was like, is the game supposed to be moving? Or is bro, it just is it <laughs> going to the ghost dress test his computer? Puts everything to fucking max. You have motion blur on, really? You're gross. I, Die. I, 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 I always uh, have that on. I put a message in the chat like, is the game supposed to be moving? And then the internet connection was gone. The stream just ended. <laughs> Bro, Sean's stream is so, like was so bad that like it had to actually load on your computer to see if it was running or not. <laughs> not only that, you were reading messages from like 10 minutes ago. Jesus Fuck, Christ. It's like, damn. I should probably use a different team than my Risley. My yeah. Risley. Yeah, we're looking good now. Osmanthus wine. All right. Well, if we're looking good, I'm just gonna continue and do a billion here. things on the campaign. Must have come to these ruins. <laughs> Everything that I haven't done for like the past year. information is reliable. You guys are free to stick around or go do your own thing. I do not mind. Here. I got nothing better to do. Looks like they plan to draw away the Abyssal go forces really work. Work. It's, like, it's a banger. It's gonna get 10,000 views and views. Someone I believe that. Someone gets three views. Silence! <laughs> Dude, if my video got three views after my last <clears throat> I'd be so upset. How much did the last one get? Last one got almost 800. Oh, impressive. I curse you with no user interaction. None at all. I hope he steals all of your users. I tried to make a rage bait short where I. Oh I my god. <laughs> uh, <you> <laughs> no. Any interactions. Good interaction. I, I was trying that to uh, target the, the right custom direction. keyboard freaks. And oh, I, got, no. I got like a five dollar keyboard my friend gave me and it sounds terrible. Ruins? I was like, this is the best keyboard ever. I just got it for Christmas. Um, how I dare hit, you? I hit the keys, I hit the keys and it was ear right the short. You. Oh my god. And the, the some of the keyboard people commented, they were like, hey, this keyboard doesn't sound that bad. <laughs> no <laughs> way. And I was my thing. <laughs> it literally didn't. Like, was it actively just broken for a five dollar keyboard? Well, it, it was a working keyboard. It, to be honest, it, it was terrible to type on, and the backspace key was the size of one of the letter keys. <laughs> Perfect. That's and awful. The, the enter was a giant L, like massive, like five keys big. God. <laughs> so, yeah. If, if you'd like to go see it, it's on my YouTube short. At yeah, I'm not being another one of your fucking views. Fuck yeah, off. You, you, you should, you should to link it to me. And, and subscribe to my Patreon. Yeah, I'll link it to you. I'll straggle you. Yeah, I'll link it to you. Over here. 
Congrats. I'm going to delete it instantly. <laughs> That'd be beautiful. I'm going to delete it instantly. <laughs> Unfortunately, I just be I just hate the one minute uh, cap on on the YouTube shorts. I wish it was two minutes. So one minute cap. I swear, I once saw a short this that was like ten minutes. Like a person. Could it be the grand thief? Maybe you were just stupid. Nah, these shorts people, they have some weird position? shit going on. Is he oh, praying to something? Where are the text champ? <gasps> Congrats on the first helmet. Yes. Are not, where are they? <laughs> They're somewhere. Oh. Wait, what is these te what is the general text channel? Where is it? Thundering corner. <laughs> I don't know. No, Thundering don't. corner, okay. Correct. Why is there there's like a Greek letter there? A Greek letter? What? Yeah, there's Greek like a Greek letter. letter there. It looks like the Among Us letter. I'm looking at it from like three feet away. I oh, guess. that. I don't know what that is. I'll be honest with you. Okay, uh, here's the short. I just put it in it's the general the Among chat. Us. Um, and, uh, Rim, why Why is this statue of the seven upside down? What the fuck did you do to my world? Why is the Sorry, the it's seven the seven from Ohio. God damn it. I'm playing Genshin on easy mode. Evil statue, I guess. Um, hello? Are you okay, mister? Uh. Uh. doesn't feel so good. Let's get out of here. What the hell? We should report back to Ganyu and Lon. I can hear your keyboard. Oh, my keyboard? Oh, well, that's my good keyboard. I can hear your inner thoughts. We can't stay here. Sorry, my, uh, I have one of those uh, spicy 1980s keyboards that has the springs in it. Springs in it? Shut yeah, up. Yeah, the, uh, 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 the spring actuators, you know. It's uh, a patent by IBM. Uh, actually, they don't own that anymore. Never mind. Spring keyboards. That sounds interesting. IBM made a lot of bangers, and then they got rid of them, like the... Uh, the ThinkPad, now that's owned by Lenovo, and the, the spring actuators for the keyboard, they sold that to Unicom. Oh, Sad. shit. How am I supposed to get over there? Can I climb? I guess I'm fucked. Why am I getting so many LEGO Fortnite abs? I'm going to fucking shoot someone. <laughs> they're, they're giving you a sign. I'm not. I played it for like 10 minutes. Got bored. Oh, no, I'm dead. How did you do it? When did we get Lego Among Us? I want Lego Among Us. Okay. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I got this. I don't got this. Sean, you're playing song like shut the fuck up. So? Solidify. <laughs> you're playing on easy mode, shut up. What do you mean on easy mode? I'm literally doing I'm parkour. Trying. I want you. I want you to go face any opponent without Zhang Leon, and I want you to see how fast you die. All right, but I still have Diona. Okay. Can this shit reappear, please? Why won't it reappear? Sean, do you play Fortnite? I haven't played that game in a year. They came out with like three new <laughs> Everyone games. Asked their... Oh yeah. <laughs> I heard about that. Yeah, my friend at college was telling me about that. There was like the fucking Lego mode that's like a Minecraft, the Rocket League race mode, or and the Guitar Hero yeah. mode. I'm gonna be blind to say the racing mode is ass. Yeah, she but told me the, the same thing. Guitar Hero one is awesome. Yeah. Well, on some songs like the like Lady Gaga is bad romance, it's like plausible because I can do that with one hand just fine. But Bro, other songs, run, run, like run, the, run, 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 excuse, I just got an ad for a Segway X Transformers thing on Sean. Huh? Segway X, what the fuck now? Do you make money from these ads? Uh, yeah, Sean does make money off of these Dude, ads. That's awesome, man. Yeah. Uh, I do. It ain't much. I like but you should take on it. all of that money and then donate it to my Patreon. No. When the fuck did you get a Patreon? I don't have one. I feel like one shot is somehow, uh. some way, is, gets a way to average like 15, 20 people. He's gonna crank his ads all the way up just to be a bitch. Every no, why minutes, would I do that? Like, okay guys, ad break. 
I need to go <laughs> pee. Head break. Head break, I need to pee. Yeah, I, I found a way to let's cheat go, out go. Twitch. Um, it's Scummy called behavior. make your pre-roll ad be denied for the first three hours of stream. Uh, yeah. And I only stream for three hours at a time. God. So you get an ad on the way out. If you want to be scummy on Twitch, you just do what those people do with, like, bending the rules with the whole hot dog thing. A lot of them do get banned, though. Yeah, for, like, 24, uh, 48 hours and then do it again. That is messed up that they get banned the for three days, come back after two abyss. hours, and then do it again. You yeah. Have come here. And earn you thousands have from one stream. Secrets. For this, if only I had you must pay the yeah. price. If only I had the cheat code. I wouldn't... I wouldn't have to be As fun. I mean, I mean, the, the Peter Griffin Wait, guy did that. I was funny? Oh, no, I wasn't. I'm sorry. You're hilarious. I had a misconception about myself that I was uh, a good entertainer, and I guess not. <laughs> I, I think out of 10, Dang. I can rate you uh, a 9.8. 9.8? Oh my god, oh, how could I get any funnier? Where's the pests. point two gone? That's the point two gone mistake. is because you don't have, uh, no titties. You, you don't have an no air titties. fryer next to your stream I, setup. I have Constant literally two air fryers set are, up in, are they in next, the bunker. Are they next Did to your stream you though? Here to die? If you want me to set them up next to in my, in in my stream bro corner. An on the, <laughs> bro wants an on-demand fucking redeem. There is nothing you can do to change the tide. There's a dryer in my office. That counts. The That's an air fryer. Is I hate that. It's about fine. Air fryer fine. Your clothes. It's the same fucking thing. Fine. Fine. You, you get the extra point too. Oh shit! I'm fighting someone. See, I'm a good negotiator. Uh, don't use. Don't use on me. Don't use on me. See how Too, long late. You live. Too late. Too <laughs> late. God fucking damn it. I only did it because Jean's dead. I'm trying to revive her. She fucking died. She fell off. Settle down. <laughs> I'm, I'm using Sean Lee for now because Gene is struggling. It feels so odd watching someone. Play. It feels wrong. What do you mean? <laughs> so let again, Flying Glim is a lot higher level. So yeah. like, uh... What level do you think I am? Silence. I'm AR. 48, I think. How the fuck are you AR-48 and I'm eating fucking 5,000? Cause I don't play this game. Gather. John, I beat this game up like two to three times a week. Come on. Okay. I see. Come on. So it's you. Why does this guy you have a boner for the traveler? In that case, I you shall stay dressed. here no longer. So? He seems like he's have a boner for the traveler. True, he is part of the abyss. What a tough battle! Oh, such a strong enemy! Oh, oh, Who knew the abyss order had monsters? Huh? Can I upgrade her weapon now? What is it? No. Oh, right. Shut up, Paimon. You talk too much. Dude, Genshin Impact would be so good if they just killed Paimon. Genshin Impact would be so good if they just add a skip button to the dialogue. It would be like playable if they just killed Paimon. Like I'm serious. <laughs> if they just Stop fucking threw ideas, her off a mountain. Kill Paimon. She's yeah, emergency Paimon, food so for a reason. Just cook her up. A little sooner than that, I had expected. The, the developers of this game watched hey, the whole hey. controversy happen, where in Ocarina of Judging Time, by Navi your was the most annoying. Like, you just thing, experienced the most something thing. quite Everyone strange. About Navi, and Could it like, be yeah, that you? Paimon. Paimon. I've been Let's on the other side. Like I didn't expect But the, 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 there's a difference. Because Navi, you couldn't eat. She was a fucking speck. Paimon is decent emergency food, at least. Stack. You Don't can get a good right. stew or two out of that. Yes. Fairies, if you put them in a jar, they give you an entirely new life when you die. <laughs> That's better than one sandwich. <laughs> put Paimon in a jar. GG easy. No, oh. no, 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 no. Okay. okay, you're attracting the wrong, the wrong crowd to this stream right now. All right. I, I, I already, I already see, I already see the backfire in that. I retract my statement. Uh, there's no retracting that. You made that mistake. That's in the VOD. Uh. <laughs> then delete the VOD. I wish there was a. Like, I'll a delete my computer. Go back into the VOD and then put the sensor noise over everything. There's doesn't the bot have an edit option? Can't you do that or like private and then republish it, edit it? I haven't. I, yes, I haven't you streamed can. on you Twitch in five years, dude. 
right now. What the fuck do you do then? What are your I... thumbs? No, man. He streams I make, YouTube. I make he's a degenerate. Videos. Well, I, oh, he's I on stream. YouTube? He makes content and hates himself constantly? <laughs> no yes, way. Man. No, I love myself. I'm, I'm, I'm lying to I'm you. I'm egotistic. He does not stream on YouTube. I'm lying to you. I streamed yeah, yeah, like three days ago. Die. This is like, Fortnite Fortnite Festival on YouTube. Fortnite Festival. Feeling lucky? Or, was it festive? Yeah, very and Fortnite is festive. I, w I wish I could stream though. Fortnite, but I physically can't. Why not? Um, I I play it on my Xbox, and for some strange reason, when I try to stream Fortnite or Dead by Daylight on on uh, onto my OBS, it it just can't move. I just can't move. No, no, none of the buttons, nothing works. Any other game, I, it works perfectly, but Fortnite and DVD, I I am oh. incapable of moving. Huh. Have you tried it on your computer? Fucking hell, that, that would be a miracle if I could. What? You can't play Fortnite on your computer? I mean, I can Fortnite, try, Fortnite. but I don't yeah, wanna. As soon as you, as I soon as you it. download Fortnite on your ass. computer, it's like, oh, we know your computer is terrible, so we're gonna turn it all down for you. Maybe, maybe I'll try it out at some point. I wish I did that for my computer, even though it's good. So they crank it all the high, and it kills my computer. Absolutely. Why? I have a 3060 and it was like, hey, your computer's kind of bad. Oh, uh, my computer is we'll one tier better than yours. Get wrecked. What? What do you got again? Yeah, I what? I have a 3070. Dude, you've got more teraflops than me. That's terrible. <laughs> I got more <laughs> teraflops. teraflops. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> God I, damn uh, it. I upgraded from a 1660 to a 3060. I think I made great strides in technology. I upgraded from an Xbox to a completely good I'm computer. pretty sure I I have like a 1200 or 1300 give or take. He has a piece of he has a slice of toast wedged into his computer. That's what he's yeah. doing. Well, he's toasting it right now. This laptop oh, is yeah. 8 years old. That's fine, man. This gaming yeah, laptop is uh, just disgusting, honestly. Yeah. Settle down. I swear by my soul. They'll be fine. I remember the gaming laptops from 2008. Order guide you. They were something else. You are saying like what lift the weights to bounce your head. Yeah, you you'd have to lift them and uh be lucky to get in power. With a power cable? Oh god. That's so awful. Have you, ever, have you ever lifted a CRT television? Yeah. They wait about that. God. One computer. Yeah. There was uh, one of my favorite ones that they made by IBM. The front plate would come off and keep it. Hear me. That's, that sounds kind of cool, honestly. Those abyss mages just now. Were they trying to make more orbs? Oh, orbs. Chaos devices, orbs. Chaos Why are you mm. pondering the orbs? In fact, they seem to be uh, the However, orbs they make my axe stronger. Why you grab one of the I certainly, no. but I have a feeling one cannot dis- Or rather, yes. no. these abyss- uh, Yes? Chat, All right. does he know? Chat. But does he know? Kill this guy. Chat. Oh! Chat! Look up this guy's balls! <laughs> Chat, oil him up! <laughs> what? No way! <laughs> Oh, wait. God damn it. oh wait, so Sean, you know how I don't I rarely actually like legitimately like yell at my stream? Yeah. Um yesterday I finally broke in that role. Why? What did they do? What so, happened? What did Miyako so I was do? R6. I, I was playing R6. Um That was so your first we, mistake. Yeah, you know, yeah, the thing is I was actually enjoying myself. I was having fun, even though like I had some like thirteen year olds in like, a game I played afterwards. Um, I was playing it, and like, yeah, you know how important it is to, like, constantly keep your eyes on the screen, right? Yeah. Yeah, my game, I didn't know this at the time, the version I was running for it, um, likes to alt-tap randomly with different keys. What the fuck? So I could be mid-combat, and I can alt-tap, and I would have to rush, alt-tap back to it, have my model fly away, and try not to die and kill someone. 
Why is that a thing? <laughs> I wouldn't forget that that would happen. Oh my god, my HP. Six. The time is 50. Yeah, like, dude. I even hit a clip with it happening, too. That's the best part. Order guide. 50. When I used to play CSGO, you know those mouse with the bear, those mice with the barrel jacks? Yeah. Yes. I used to have one of those, and there was a Ugh. funny Windows glitch on Windows 7. Where, uh, those mice would randomly, the cursor would go all the way to the top left of the screen at full speed. Stabilize. <laughs> so, uh, randomly during CSGO, I'd do 700 spins in a circle. Every once in a while. Did you hit sick clips doing that? I did hit sick clips doing that. Solidify. I, uh, well, CSGO will never be the same. Hey there. Yeah, I heard about that. They pulled an Overwatch too, apparently. This Don't know how accurate that is, though. Well, Overwatch this one's got your name! You can still play the original Set Overwatch, right? No. No? Okay, well, whatever. Oh, oh, they literally just slapped a 2 onto Overwatch uh, original and called it a new game. That's Made you reinstall they also, uh, it. They, they took away all the CSGO achievements, which people were pissed off about, and made half me. the user base quit the game. That's actually disgusting. Uh, but uh, they changed the engine, the movement feels disgusting. Isn't that what happened with Fortnite as well? They changed the entire movement and like half the community quit? Well, from what I know, no uh, I actually I, I picked like up the game after they changed tavern. the movement, and uh, Time. someone explained it to Forget me. It. The is, connection uh, they just added they are both the, uh, the vaulting, and they made both the sprinting a little, uh, a little really? less uh, good. Oh. And uh, they made the, the sideways that? movement huh? animation slower, so now you, you can't crank them? 90s nearly is as that fast, so? and that's but what's pissing people off. If you would like to tell is that me, they were all right, able to we'll build, uh, They were able to build the Twin so, Towers in 12 seconds. The Conria you saw. And now you can't. <laughs> yeah, sounds like old Fortnite to me. I mean, people probably still do it somehow, but... Um, okay, I, 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 I saw, I saw, see you later, room. I saw comparisons of the old and the new one, and the new one just seems weird to me. Maybe because I haven't actually played in the first place. I, I think the new movement I system, I haven't, I, before that I haven't played the game in six years. But like, I think the new movement the first... system, it, it feels really and good. It was shortly at... I understand. I mean, I have Fortnite installed on my Xbox. I just haven't gone on. I was gonna get on for the OG season, but I just never got around to it. Probably no more. was in. It was a powerful nation. A nation. Later. Maybe I can get on for a bit after the stream. years ago, the pride of. How could that be? Yes. Well, continue. Let's keep moving. I might have to dip soon because I really gotta finish this video because it's like seven weeks late. Oh my. Well, you do that. Feel free. Yeah, like, uh, nine weeks late. Oh, it's almost done, too. It's so close. Well, you're you're free to link it to me once you're finished. I can take a look. Take a gander. Dude, if, if you want to watch the vid- Um, I also- You probably didn't see the Scrub Daddy video. When the fuck did you make a Scrub Daddy video? I've been posting a video, like, every two weeks. Or so, I think on average. The last time I saw a video of yours was the, the, the one where you go to a subreddit and it's either something really bad or something really good. Okay, so let me count how many videos I've had since then. Uh, ten? Jesus Christ. Yeah, man. Scrub Daddy, good vi Oh my god, Scrub Daddy's still being... Uh, it's still going out. It's still being recommended. Something oops, weird I, 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 I think about YouTube is... Uh, where it actually brings my videos to. It'll, it'll bring uh, my videos into the recommended page of like Beano's Gmod Adventure, where it's just this guy in Gmod and he's got purple bean Thanos and he's fighting him on a train. In uh, that sounds very familiar. I remember learning all about Beano's from this sock guy that I used to watch. I already forgot his name, it's been a while. It might have been his video. Once in a while, they, they they put my videos on a JonTron video, and it gets a couple hundred views off of that. And that's cool and stuff. But every once in a while, it also gets put on something oh, random, like a, a video where two dial-up modems are talking to each other. <laughs> what? And I think that's very interesting, because YouTube recommends those to me. Two dial-up like, modems just yeah. talking? That sounds... Strange, yeah, but interesting. Because when dial-up modems were a thing, they'd have a speaker on them that would let you be able to hear their communications. 
So if something went wrong, uh, an experienced technician would be able to understand what sound it made wrong. So these two modems were talking to each other. And the one motor is like, hello, and the other one went, ah, and then disconnected. And the other one started screaming. And I thought that was interesting, so I, I started to research that. Was this like some sort of AI thing, what I assume? Of good luck. No. no? Like, like an actual person sat down and made this? Yeah, an actual person was like, okay, this is a strange sound that these two modems are making. I'm going to record this. Because I've never heard two dial-up modems make this noise. And that they do they communicate data through audio lines. I, so I their data is hearable. I, I I like what I'm hearing. Alright, it's been a while since I've heard you know, genuine content like that and not just like slap it through an AI and we're done. Just have characters do that talk through AI shit. I actually haven't seen AI content in a long time. God, YouTube constantly recommends these Order stupid time. ads for like AI stuff, and it's like so annoying. Because I don't care about any of it, plus it looks horrendous. Like, it's not even like the good stuff, but like, it looks kind of passable. Like, you know, it's bare bones and awful. Silence! We're in a, um, we're, we're in a uh, time right now where artists are extremely afraid of AI. Be sanctified. And, uh, I don't think it's going to take over the art industry like they think it is, because AI will never be able to make art. With, like, your yeah. Head. Like it could sure it could generate a picture of a guitar. This is order. But there's no meaning by a, a generator. Stabilize. Picture. Yeah, that's what I think. Like I understand their fear because people, like. People like to abuse the AI engines to make art and call themselves artists and be like, haha, check this out, and they get commissions for it, and like, I, I feel like it's very silly. Like, anyone can go into an engine, punch some shit in, and just make stuff. I, I don't... Eventually, those, uh, those kinds of people will go almost extinct, and the actual artists that are making actual art will have AI's sort of tools to enhance their products. Yeah, I that that's the one good thing I like about AI. Is I have plenty of friends who use it for references and stuff. That that they like get a general idea for something, throw in word bomb it, and from what they get, they're like, hmm, this is kind of similar to what I envisioned, envisioned, and they just start going, and they go. A couple hours later, they have a fucking masterpiece. Yeah, I know I know so many artists with aphantasia, and they're like, I have an idea, but I can't see it. I can't I can't put it down. And that it that be, has a name, would, Aphantasia. Aphantasia. There's a chart for it. If, uh, there's a chart for it with an apple. It's like from zero, which is like a black square, all the way up to like a gray apple. Uh, looks like a compressed JPEG, all the way up to like a hyper realistic red apple. I'm all the way at the top of the chart. I can imagine anything ever. I didn't think. I didn't know other people couldn't do that. I've been taking that for granted. <gasps> that I can see something and then make it. E everything you just described to me, like the apple, I imagined it in stages as you were describing it. And it just got yeah. clearer and clearer. Yeah, people, some people can't do that. Some people see literally nothing. People, really? People can't, they can't imagine a picture. They don't have internal dialogue. Huh. I literally wouldn't be able to function without an internal dialogue or if I wasn't able to picture something. Was just saying I think you've opened a whole new topic for me to look into Conrad. afterwards because like, yeah. I, I have a no. feeling, a strong He's feeling that this heavily has to do with neurodivergent people and how they think and see it's things. Not like the land is not... <laughs> to do After the destruction, they wandered. People, I, think I saw research that <laughs> just said that it was so across sad. the board, like a Once random you understand, thing. That you but get. no matter their... whether or not you can see something or you can't see something, we don't know if it's trainable. If it has to do with like how how much muscle your imagination had in your childhood, or if it was something like that. Because a lot of things I will have or in your childhood, you just have. This doesn't seem like something you would learn, though, right? It could be. It, it could be, but we, we just don't know yet. We don't know if you can learn it. We don't know how. That's like saying you need to learn to imagine. 
I, I just felt like imagination is something that comes natural to us people, unless you have something in your brain that is like different, if that makes sense. Yeah. Well, when I was a child, uh, whenever I tried to picture something, imagine a scene, hmm. that my, my brain would be really like, I can't do that. And then I'd, uh, something the crazy would happen, what? like I would fall through the floor and I'd go into the, the abyss. Darkness, or, like, Seems like would hit my grandmother in the face. What's that? <clears throat> that that wasn't supposed to happen at all, but over time I was actually it, mm. it was it's like a muscle. In short, you you have to like train your brain to be able to see the scene. I know of your path, though you may not have been. Last time it was the abyss. Or... No. I feel like if I took whatever test those. is there for that sort of thing, I'd be in a weird gray area. Because if I close my eyes right now and try and imagine like an apple. I can. Would seem so. I, I see darkness, right? Yes. But I can also simultaneously see yeah, the apple. The like I can see two separate things oh, at once. Since no one... yeah. I just see the darkness of having my eyelids closed, but I also see the apple somewhere else. I wouldn't be able to describe it. Like it's just not the here that makes sense. Like obviously it's in my head, but it doesn't feel like it. It, it sounds I, like a I weird thing to me. Mm -hmm. You can see the apple for one millisecond. They, they... It's like a Five Nights at Freddy's jump scare and then it's gone. Uh, that is so weird. Like, weird in like a fascinating way. It's, that is something I've never heard of or like thought of. And as I go through my day to day, I talk to myself in my brain. Other people don't have that. A lot of other people don't have that. They just, they're just all autonomous. She's acting as if she's talking and laughing. Just people just don't have an inner monologue, like, talking yeah, about what they're have, doing? People are just empty in their brain. They just go. They're, they, they don't have conversations with themselves. They don't, they don't monologue to themselves. They just walk around. Fancy me. Ah, tone deaf bard. I can't imagine that. I wouldn't be able to move if I didn't tell myself to get up. Miss Lisa. I mean, I feel like I'm also in a gray area there. Like, there, there are some days where I'm just on automatic, like, get up, go to the bathroom, brush my teeth, make breakfast, whatever. Other days, I just get up, just hum a little tune, doing this, doing that, blah, blah, blah. Like, it's like I'm narrating what I'm doing in my own head. Yeah, a lot of people don't have For this it's just something dangerous. that, you know. Hmm. There's, there's so many things that we do That's that we right. think are normal, Looks but sadly, like, huh? a lot of the population hmm. just doesn't do. Know for... so... <laughs> anyway, like, a... uh, like the toilet paper thing. There's do actually a few toilet paper things him? that people do different. Huh, What's so the toilet paper thing? To um, right, then... there's, uh, whether or not you put the roll facing backwards or forwards. I don't uh, remember if that's split in half by the population or not, but uh, a lot of people, they go well, through life without knowing other people actually have to flip around from how they do it. A huge statue, but, but how aware- Well, luckily I don't use TP then, I use something completely different, which doesn't matter orientation-wise. <laughs> also the debate on whether you should wipe sitting down or standing up. You Who the fuck wipe standing up? Apparently, they will surely 50 allow you to of the poke into these affairs. That's insanity. Trust. And whenever someone, Having whenever someone's like, would only who make the them fuck wipes standing up? The other guy's like, who the fuck wipes standing down? I mean, sitting down. Sitting down. <laughs> standing down. Sitting no, down. no, you've absolutely broken my mind here. Who the f Like, actually, like, I'm trying to envision it, right? Wiping standing up seems completely, like, not viable. It seems so inefficient. I tried it once. It was, uh, it was tough. I yeah, it. yeah, because like I like at least in my brain, like thinking of any time I've sat down on the toilet, right? You you're in a position where it would be easy to do so because of how your body is orientated. You know, you're resting on something. Like I feel like standing, like standing up would be so awkward, no matter what. I feel bad for people who have short limbs. And try to do that or like i don't you know. i don't know if it is because of short limbs i don't know where the standing up came from that is such a strange thing um there's also the controversial topic of uh, whether or not 
people wipe Correct. from the front when a or from I have behind. Never... That's enough about that. Okay, then. I should Anyone who wipes from the front is uh, from from the front the is affair. insane. From the front, people do it. That's also I think that's also half and half. I I swear I've only heard that girls wipe from the front. Like you're saying that this is just in general 50-50 split across the planet. I think it's across, yeah, I think it's across the board. No matter what gender you are, I think it's a 50-50 shot. This is so strange to hear. Also, hi, Selv. Human behavior is definitely not normal. Yeah, short limbs. Yeah, Sean feels bad for uh, people with short limbs. Like dinosaurs. Poor, poor dinosaurs. I, I, I recently occasionally have gumball playing in the background whenever I'm doing stuff in my room and uh, th there was this episode where gumball tried high-fiving the the t-rex and it, she, she just couldn't reach it was really sad honestly this is a fucking kids show and they made a big deal out of it it was depressing yeah well gumball is full of life lessons that are for uh, adults yeah, yeah, like, the, there are episodes like the one I watched two weeks ago where they were reenacting Lord of the Rings, and then there's episodes like that where they basically, like, talk about the difference and how people are different, some with disabilities, some without, on. some we stay here. who are just different, because that's just how humanity is. It's like, I, I, I love Gumball, honestly, and Adventure Time. I, I'm glad I'm having the opportunity to rewatch it now as an adult, since I never got to fully experience it as a kid. Did you see when the the whole controversy was coming out with Gumball versus Dream? Oh my god, that shit was hilarious. I saw the video. Like, the clip of, of them in, like, the Uber or whatever. Uh, th that, that is uh, honestly ironic, because it is around the time I started re-watching Gumball and Adventure Time, so... It, it, it just blew up the whole Gumball fan base, and a lot of people came back to watching the show after all these years. Yeah, Gumball's voice actor has some problems. A long time ago, I feel nearly like every in the church's rec I'm not a big course? fan of Dream at all. I watched Sorry, his, uh, his video. Stories, I think it was. Oh. I think it Wait, was you actually watched his later. apology? I watched his entire apology. Well, you know, YouTube is my job. I have to be updated so on these kinds the of things. Me, me, and my friends don't care about Dream and the Scientist. All right. We we just don't care about him. Whenever we see drama about him, he's like, oh, cool, he did another thing. Whatever. It, when the apology video came across our server, we were like, none of us are watching this. Because A, the video has ads. Motherfucker is getting money out of an apology video. That's already yeah, a terrible that was sign. Fucked up. That was fucked up. He claims that it's all going to charity, which he's able to prove, I guess, later on. But people just don't believe it right he, now. He he always says it's going to charity. He always says it. Okay. Well, he's already a billionaire or something, like a multi-millionaire or whatever. Yeah. He doesn't need any more money. I, I was really pissed off when that uh, his friend what, what's his name? continued for about uh, a George year. not found. No one was yeah. they were doing to they were doing right. this whole charity Perhaps stream anyway. for uh, Technoblade. Might not be oh, related no. to the and George not seven. found didn't donate but a I single penny. They were they were all getting like viscerally upset with him. And he was okay. laughing. There's that point. Oh, really? Looking for the Knights of yeah. Favonius. They're busy a lot with those of dreams there. friends. Those are monsters just that scum. No, I I knew that. I knew that. But I thought George was one of the good ones. I won't lie to you. I actually kind of liked him. He was funny and shit. Maybe the, the maybe the clip I saw was out of context, but they were they were getting upset right. because what? because oh. he was like, okay, but huh, please, yeah, uh, I should uh, you know steal all of the streams, don't owe money, and then buy a Ferrari, and then everyone everyone in the call was like, dude, you're a multimillionaire, you haven't donated anything to the that. Stream. That sounds like a massive shit post. Cause, Cause George is the type to do like outlandish jokes. I, I've never seen that man get canceled for any of them so I, i'm pretty sure it was like a shit post but if it isn't that that's fucked up i don't i don't know if it was a shit post or not i know it was if it was a joke it was a little bit in bad taste because yeah this was like weeks after technoblade passed away yeah it was definitely in poor taste especially so like recent even if it wasn't recent i i don't think anyone should have like joke that way for like see. when you're doing it's a charity stream well and it's in honor of like a fallen friend who no, passed away due to like the same thing today, and all that. The Abyss Herald Major.
It's just in poor taste, no matter how you cut it. I saw that and then nobody talked about it. So I was like, okay, whatever. Huh? Well, now with the new dream situation, everyone's like, oh, he's a, green he's a groomer, he's an abuser. And um, I'm definitely not on dream side for anything, but I, I do understand that most of his fan base is <laughs> mentally ill. <laughs> and they would do anything to kill him. Which is very strange. Okay, I, I expected any other word besides kill. I'll be real honest with you. They want him gone. For so His fans want him gone. And that's weird to me. That, that is... That, that is the strangest thing. And I... <laughs> I... I'm honestly speechless about that thought. Don't underestimate the enemy. I find a lot Let's of take them now. allegations very hard to believe, which is very sad. But, like, real victims. Of Set them down. Because a I lot will of have orders. They were just like, yeah, I made that up. Solidify. Because I wanted dream gone. Wait, Whatever. Hear me. Someone literally, one of, one of the burner accounts literally posted, yeah, my evidence wasn't real, but dream's still a bad person, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rid of them personally, and then they DM. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And the, the, the closer we get to the target, the, the more easiest yeah. thing I'm to huh? stir up something incredibly fast. I cannot possibly. Besides, I have no problem and interacting with people. I'm not gonna go people. out and say that like it's just my all you shouldn't fake. place too much, even if the guy or anything. I don't trust them. But I'm not on dream side That's either. <laughs> Lest I, repeat, I, I just think I, it's really, huh? really problematic. The destruction. Well. That we have to look man. into yeah, at the right uh, of whether or not we can even <sighs> trust the night. victims Paimon, anymore, because what that are you is, two doing? that's oh, so Master sad. Jean, Rosaria, yeah, is greatly appreciated. Twitter is a the fucking hellhole. Because that's where most of the strange. fake stuff is coming out in You've the first place. Wolvendum. I am preparing to send out <sighs> some knights to fight back. I feel like most platforms need to be Thanos snapped and start from scratch. I feel like if I saw like a thread about like Dream killed somebody I with a knife, stabbed them to death Wolven. in an alley, Rosaria I told it but the Abyss Order. They just like the cause And that's a problem. The abyss order. Cause that's outrageous. Mm. Regardless, that sounds ridiculous. Well, honorary knight, this god's spirit. You you are right. He does not often see. Okay. As much as like I despise this guy, I dislike him and all that. It it, it, it sounds more believable than than like the all the fake shit that's come out. And then the after he released this video, he was like, oh, I have a 24-page uh, uh, Google Doc, and I read the whole thing, and it was just like a compilation of random garbage Stabilize. that he already went out and went through. And Barbados, a couple guide us. Shots. Like, you could just edit any picture together. It's really hard to prove DMs. Yeah, uh, I remember one of the ones I saw were for the whole Pokemon cookie thing, which I thought was kind of funny. Since, since you actually watched the video, I gotta ask. Was he throwing other people under the bu bus to cover his own ass? Or was he just throwing it out there to, like, compare? He wasn't exactly throwing anybody under the bus. There was a lot of witness testimonies, like random people. He was like, oh yeah, I had my snap... I, he had two Snapchat managers of his in the video. Uh, it sounded like they were reading a script, but I don't want to be like, you know... Because if that's the way that they just speak... I don't want to be like that, you know, but it, it just, I don't know if, like, those witness testimonies can be trusted. We, we don't know their identity. We don't even know if they actually ran the Snapchat or whatever. I, it, you know, when I heard about the whole Snapchat thing, that he had a Snapchat manager, I didn't know he had two. I heard about one. I was really bamboozled by it because, like, I know people have social media managers, but, like, for fucking Snapchat? What well, what a, what is the benefit of this? He had a private Snapchat and then a Dream Snapchat, and uh, he would take pictures and be like, "Hey, can you upload this to the Dream Snapchat?" She'd be like, "Sure, okay." And I I 100% believe that he had a manager for the Snapchat. He has so much money. It's just it just it's just like it's not viable to run all of your social media accounts and worry about all of that. Uh, that takes up a lot of headspace, and then you gotta work on your videos, and then you gotta. Uh, you, you know, you gotta respond to your fans and stuff. I uh, personally, I got rid of Snapchat uh, almost 10 years ago.
I would have too. Not, uh, I would have too. I, I, uh, I only keep it because some people here and there prefer somehow in this day and age 2023 to still use slash text through there, which is bizarre to me. So I just keep it around just in case they like shoot me a message. Even though they have my other socials and Discord and Twitter and whatnot and Instagram. Still prefer Snapchat somehow. So it's honestly a mystery. I had friends in high school that were like, oh, I'm being I'm being stalked through the Snapchat maps thing. And I was like, just get rid of the app. And they were like, no, I need that to live. I have so many streaks. I was like, it's, it's literally a disease. Snapchat's a disease. I, I completely agree with that sentiment. I, I'm, I Honestly, most social media platforms are a disease. Just f outright. But I, I, I honestly don't know if it's right thing to do to completely put the blame on the platform itself and not the person who's like consuming this content becoming the addict like both both sides are at fault a lot of people tell me about their their whole uh, twitter experience I'm like how do you get that because i log on to twitter and all i see is like the daily fox's twitter account filling my timeline with fox do you even follow them? Yes. I Well, maybe? I don't know. I probably follow a few of those accounts. I don't remember who I follow. Sometimes I get, uh, like a, like a random video. Someone will be like, hey, look at this magic trick. And then they, then they have a ball in their hand. They go, and the ball's gone. I'm like, wow, that's cool. And then I get, get off Twitter. Honestly, I, I can't say that my Twitter experience ever has been bad. Because you curate your own social media experience. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's the rare off chance that I'm going to straight up stumble upon porn on, like, either Instagram or Twitter. And that's because a fucking meme account was paid off to promote an OnlyFans or they're being a piece of shit. Oh, I and and I just I just unfollow it and, and restrict it. Like, I don't want to see this on my timeline. Like, I, I made an alt account really for the sole purpose of supporting friends who do, like, NSFW art and stuff, like, get commissions and actually, like, straight up buy food with this money. So I just retweet their, like, post and whatnot on that other account, help them out, blah blah blah. That's it. Like, none of that should leak onto my main account. And if it does, I try to, like, just restrict it. Like, you curate your own, uh timeline and whatnot and you still get weird shit on rare occasion and that bothers me yeah like all these people are like twitter's a cesspool it's all people arguing it's all these it's all republicans versus the democrats and they all i i never all, see all any of that unless it's trending they, they're seeing that because they're looking at it they're interacting with it they're clicking on the post they're getting mad at it yeah like i never see any of that whatsoever unless it's you trending not as soon as you click here. on it you let twitter know that you want to see it Yep. Uh, unless it's trending and I'm curious, like, oh, like a thing I recognize trending. Let me look at it. it, it I, I never see it on my normal timeline unless someone else retweeted it by chance or liked it. Which honestly is a stupid feature. I, I want them to remove that someday because like I don't give a fuck what my friends like. Like I really don't care. Even if we like the same stuff, like they like Dragon Ball and I like Dragon Ball and it puts more Dragon Ball stuff on my timeline, I don't care. Because I know my friends and I know some of them are in, in the stream. I, I do not care if they hear this clip at some point or the bod. Some of you guys like some weird shit. I also like weird shit. I, I, I'm not gonna hold you, hold any of you against that. We all have our own weird thing. I just don't want to see it in my timeline. That's it. I don't want to see, oh, friend like this post and underneath you have some just weird shit. This needs to be something that you can turn on and off or, or straight up remove. Well, that's why people make uh, alternative accounts that are, you know, more like, more like private so they can you know, like their porn without showing their minor audience. Yeah, and I, and I respect that. I have a couple friends who have done that, who have multiple accounts, each for their own purpose. But not everyone's going to do that. So making it a setting would be so much useful because a lot of social media platforms let allow you to private your likes. Twitter is one of the rare cases where you can't do that. And hell, Instagram removed that feature entirely. People can't look at your likes anymore or what you interact with anymore at all. If you Unless you decide us. to share it. What the hell? Oh, no. Wolves never surrender. 
Twitter also no matter. So you have your own like likes list with you know. Fucking bookmarks, yeah. Solidify! Order I can't guide you. They made the amount of bookmarks I visible. Yes. I find that a little funny. Whenever I see an artist post a picture, they're like, hey, and it gets more bookmarks than it gets likes, and they're like, what? Be sanctified. Uh, that's some funny ass shit. Yeah, I, I gotta agree with you on that. Well, bookmarks. We about the dream video four hours ago. I have a problem with that. No, I don't mind. I, I like ADHD rants. They're 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 fun. One minute into the video, about twenty minutes into the video, he says, he says, "You can't. You guys don't trust me, obviously, but you gotta trust me on, on these things. You gotta take my word for it." Solidify. I that's, will have that's order. Where start. The that that is the most sus sentence to say, especially if you're trying to defend yourself or apologize for something. Yeah, he's like, I can't prove a lot of these things. But you gotta take my word. Stabilize. Okay, so well, maybe you could have skipped that part. Wait, hear me. Uh, that's a little weird. And then the first thing he talks about is the cheating controversy. The, the what? The cheating controversy. Oh, oh god! I, I thought that was put to bed like eons ago. Why bring it up? He brought it back. So he did a whole bunch of refusing it, and then getting out of it, and he admitted it. And then uh, again. Like, well, that, that was like four months ago. Why are you still mad at me? And I, I thought of this would have been a He just shut his fucking mouth on Twitter. He's just so bad at tweeting. It's a miracle that he has social media managers, but it, it has gone into so much trouble by his own doing. It, it doesn't even make sense. Emotional social media. It's not good content content manager. It's not This is for I, I yeah. understand having like a private Twitter account, but like on my new account, you know, stuff like that. Get mad, guys. That cheating scheme was like three years ago, and I've improved. I swear. Barbados, guide us. God. But like, you guys, I, you guys are all just mad that I'm good at Minecraft and I didn't cheat. And I'm good at Minecraft. Better than you. Like. How did he not realize that that was going to get them in so much trouble? The ceremony. How does an old no matter? Uh, and even before, even before then, uh, even before this video came it out, before that, he was tweeting. He was tweeting shit like, uh, yeah, this, this and that happened, and this and that happened. And, uh, I believe it was quite. You, and the whole thing when he Maria's leaked the gumball video, because isn't that oh, like yeah. two years old or something? That wasn't, that wasn't from his point of view. Wait. So yeah, as as he states, that was not from his point of in view. The there was future, a third person. Claws, in the I don't know. I don't know how um, uh, you know, uh, viable that I is. Pain. You don't, but, uh, but it. I I don't understand that whole thing because yes. people say it was done in an Uber, but yet like th there was people in the front yeah, and in the back. We need to keep yes. I don't know if that's like a typical Uber thing to let people sit in the front, especially if it's like a big group. I've I'm never used Uber. It was because the car was a five-seater. Uh, there were two seats in the back, two seats in the front. Well, there was three seats in the back. One's the middle seat. No one likes the middle seat, I guess. Uh, so two people sat in the back, and Gumball sat in the front. Allegedly. Uh, I mean... I d we, we don't know who this third person was. Yeah. We haven't heard from the third person that actually took the video. Yeah, because, like, I, I, assu I always assumed, at least from the clips I saw, that Dream was the person driving because Gumball kept referring to someone next to him. And I never realized it was someone, like, he was behind him until someone said it was an Uber, but it still felt weird to me. I think Gumball's alibi is, like, really shaky, but I also think Dream's alibi is, like, really shaky. They might both be lying about a lot of stuff. Or maybe Gumball doesn't even remember because he was blackout drunk the whole time. Yeah, that too. Uh, oh, yeah, the I cheating scam. Her, so he went over the Minecraft cheat. He was like, okay, back to the so uh, I didn't know I had the mod installed. I was like, he's really going to die well, on that hill. We can more or less figure out huh? that information. For example, I, I've died on some stupid hills for like you told me dumb you Dragon Ball discussions, exactly. but uh, this is just the takes the cake for anything and everything. Man. 
Yeah, he was like, well, it later in the video, like he was like, yeah, I started my channel. Hmm. Uh, I was learning mean? how to script Minecraft mods and stuff. I was doing my own programming. And then, and then literally at the beginning of the video, he was like, yeah, I didn't know that how that mod, I didn't know that mod was installed. I don't know anything about Matt. You can't be a, a good programmer if you don't know anything about math. It's a lot of math. It's, it's a lot of working with numbers. I, I don't I don't in any way want to defend or condone anything he does whatsoever. But I'm gonna say that I am god awful at math, but I've done some pretty good coding. Like at least decent for it to be functional in, in, in Minecraft and Ark survival. Maybe he like not not speaking for him, just thinking as a person who has at least tried it out coding and has successfully done a thing or two. Like Either it's a self-esteem issue or, or a person being humble when they say those sort of things. It, when it comes to Dream, it's probably like a self-esteem issue. Plus, he is straight up just contradicting himself, so who, who the fuck knows? I just can't imagine he didn't know that mod was installed at all. That he had an active data pack that changed drop rates in his game. When doing a speedrun, where drop rates are a critical thing. And then he was like, yeah, I didn't know anything about math, so I contacted this Harvard professor. And uh, he did the math for me, and then... Uh, and apparently that didn't matter either. Yeah, that didn't matter either, because people, people were like, okay, we read the math chart, and uh, it's, you know, it's all coming together. It's all coming together. There was a one in one trillion chance that that... Uh, that uh, that piglin dropped like 40 ender pearls or whatever happened i don't know i don't remember what uh, he got he got ate out for i i i just know that it was like something to do with like the blaze and ender pearl drops they were like too good too good to be true yeah i also believe all this of his uh, right? hunt videos are scripted they're just way too they're just cinematic Ooh, masterpieces so what did you see? Oh, a hundred percent. Like, they, may, maybe they not scripted, scripted. not scripted in the way that like it guarantees oh, him to win so every single time, but just scripted in like, okay, we gotta do these things. However, we get there, we we this fucking get there, but we method. have to get there at some point. Using elemental. He himself said at some point that he does look at like clips or like tries things out in like single player worlds or like multiplayer with his friends. To do like more exciting done. things in Manhunt. The very thing, all of the room. As the then again, this was back when I actually survived. watched Manhunt because it was probably the only piece of content he's ever created that I kind of liked because it was an interesting concept. And What's only unfortunate that he was one of the few I'll people who was actually myself. doing it at the time. Huh? Yeah, his you friends are me, not that no bad at where Minecraft. We... Oh. Five but our work isn't done yet. And we can't have the I don't think he never lost. No, no, he's lost a couple. Let's okay, go back to those. Couple. I'll make but sure. But some it... of them, like, they get so stupid for like five minutes. They're like randomly in the middle of the video. They're like, okay, he went to the portal. We're going to wait here. And then Dream sends literally 40 blocks of TNT through the portal and kills all of them. How I'm, stupid. I mean, the now now that I'm thinking about the times he's lost, I'm not going to recall every single one because it's been a while. But I know most of them were after he got the fifth person, Sam, who is just a god at Minecraft. Like nothing against the others, that they're they're not the best, but it's not like they're bad. They they're at least above the average player, from my opinion, from seeing them play the game, on stream and all that, or like just YouTube videos they make. Sam is a fucking genius. This man single-handedly has designed so many fucking contraptions in the game, and has abused every single like ability update or implementation to his own whim. Like, most of the stuff done in, like, the Dream SMP as an example. Yes, people can argue there are, like, a couple, maybe a mod or two and command blocks at work, but, like, still, someone had to design this shit. And most of the time, it was him. So, seeing that Dream started losing to him in the manhunts, it makes sense. But it's also kind of weird, because, like, still, it's four or five fucking people against one guy. He's not John Wick or anything. Statistically, he should be losing more. So yeah, you are you are correct on that. John Wick would still lose in Minecraft to five people.
I mean, probably. There's no guns in Minecraft. Yeah. So after all that running around, we end up right back here again. I'll be right Look back. At us. Just like we barely give escaped me five this place seconds. last time, and now we're strolling right Go back ahead. here. Go ahead. Don't actually count five seconds. Gee. Five. Gee, we must be four. Some of the bravest three. adventurers in all of Tibet. Oh fuck! That sake. is the stupidest. To get to that creepy statue. We just need to follow the path we used to escape last time. That should take us right to it. Yep, that'll work. Let's go. And remember to be on your guard. Ooh. Oh, shit. 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 No, reach. This is awful. Can I, is that even a viable thing to make? No. No way you just fall. Why would you just plummet? Like, you can just redeploy your wings. That's dumb. And they put me back at the start. Lovely. I am back. I don't remember anything else. Welcome back. Uh, that, that, that bothered me in the dream video. I think a lot of it uh, could have been solid. Uh, at least as solid as the evidence that I read in a lot of the Google documents. Um, I, I've chosen not to take aside in particular because it's it's that's none of my business yeah and it doesn't really matter i don't it, think dream's gonna face any consequences for these uh these allegations because a lot of evidence is just missing on either side is it true however that he said he might quit was that mentioned have, at any point i have no idea he did mention at the beginning of the video that he took a long break from youtube uh, because because a lot of controversy was coming out um, he didn't say anything about quitting i don't think god it'd be such an amazing way to start Looks the year like he quit an eerie oh. be careful to not not even in like a negative way towards him specifically oh, just like weird. drama it and things on social media in general would probably be much better without him Just some spaces aren't made, meant for certain people. Simple as that. Doesn't matter if you're good or bad. I, I think he's made plenty of mistakes. And he is like... He did start as like a teenager on YouTube. Which is crazy. Because like, as a teenager, you don't know what you're doing. Yeah. And I get that. You just never learn. Wait, did he start as a teenager? I swear he started like... I guess turning like 19 ish. Which still makes you a teenager, to be fair, but he was basically almost an adult. I swear he blew up around the start of Dream SMP in the manhunts, which is when Tommy was a literal child when he got included into that. And yeah, so he wasn't no fucking teenager. So he can't. He started. He started when he was 15. Went. Hear me. As far as I know, he's been tweeting the same. He's been spitting the same. Solidify. This is order. That's fucking sad. That is what that is. That's that's sad. There's nothing else to it. What my. I found it kind of crazy that he made a picture that was the time very photoshopped Pokey made saying, Oh, my cookies are overpriced in my, uh, my... Oh, I saw that. Is that fake? It is fake, yes. Really? His point, his point was you could make any picture and uh, it's unprovable whether or not it's real. So he made a picture of that of Pokemon saying that. And he was like, okay, Pokemon proved this picture isn't real. And he didn't double down on it. Pokemon was like, oh, I just woke up and there's this picture happened. What Dream, what's that Dream? And Dream was like, I'm so sorry, my lady. I was trying to prove the point. I was like, oh, disgusting. Like, he didn't even die with honor. He was just like, my bad, I was making a Order guide. I find it ironic that he used her out of all people because, to be fair, what is shown in the screenshot is something that she said. Maybe a bit paraphrased. But this, it is something she said live on stream. Not directly to him, just to chat in general. I mean, I found your head. Pokey name is 
Oh, I don't want to cause drama, but I, I don't find it there. Let the mighty be humble. I mean, you're right. She's not attractive in the slightest. Her content sucks. There's just nothing positive that comes out of any of it. I, I feel like I'm allowed to say it. Solidify. Of of my content, but I just think she's so. Wow. Yeah. Uh, I, I think you're allowed to say it regardless, because it doesn't matter. Nope, no one's gonna care about what is being said here right now in this moment of time. I think it doesn't matter that her cookies are like 700 times the price that they should be. Her fans are falling for that uh, on their own decision. But that's their decision to make, whether or not they want to buy these cookies. <laughs> And it, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> if they didn't Freeze. get like gypped or scammed or anything, I think the amount of cookies and the weight was on the bag yeah. as, you, uh, as you bought them for $30 Ooh. a bag. Sorry about that. More things are happening in my game. Finally, okay. the twins met each other. Genshin Impact. <gasps> I didn't know about this. I, I'm surprised I never got spoiled about this. Huh. I thought she was either fucking dead or kidnapped. Ooh, let me, yeah, give me a minute for this real quick. This is where you learn Paimon is a bad person. Hopefully. We meet again. What's going on here? Dane knows her too? You shouldn't team up with this man. He is my enemy. I mean. <sighs> More surprised that she but fucking speaks. That man, Dainsleth, was the Twilight Sword, one of the royal guards of the final dynasty of Conria. Five hundred years ago, he failed to prevent the destruction of Conria. That's like, um, a curse of like immortality they, they was laid upon Zelda, him to forever Ganondorf's wander the wilderness. Version of Zelda. While he watched the people he was supposed that's to not protect her at all. turn into monsters of the abyss. I want to believe that very badly Dane right now. Because this feels is wild. I, I did... Years ago? Th there's no point at all in the story that I expect to meet the sister this early. Because, like, people make hundreds upon hundreds of memes of, like, him finally finding his sister. So either that indicates that this is a fake, or she's mind-controlled or brainwashed or something along the lines. Or people just want to shit on the fact that she's actually evil. I, I don't know. It's a surprise that I have not been spoiled much on this game at all. I just know lore bits here and there. And you said the people turned into all. monsters? You're trying any, to tell Paimon that the Genshin Abyss Impact. Order is not only related to Conria, but is actually the people of Conria themselves? Uh, and the whole thing about Dane being your you enemy... Do when you want to make a hamburger, uh, but you don't have so confused. I mean... I'm trying to limit the amount of bread I'm eating, so today when I prepared a hamburger, I just prepared some homemade fries and just cut it up and ate it with the fries. Oh, a burger salad. Sure. Yeah. So pretty much. Sometimes when I go to a restaurant, the burger turns into that by itself because it's so big and messy. Home. Thing about my burger is that it was like a a plant based burger, a vegan yes. burger, whatever you want to call it. Of course. Tastes like Home meat, is where not made of meat, together. made of mushrooms. Which is really nice. Sometimes, oh, but the I mushroom cannot ones go are good, with you to the next the world to find a new. Oh my God, the At black beans ones! I got. I got tricked. I got duped. I tried those once at a at a Sam's Club. Like, no, no, it wasn't a Sam's Club. I, I went out with this like old ex friend of mine. Uh, we were grocery shopping at a at a Costco, and then you know they give up free samples occasionally. And they they were giving out samples for like the the bean the black bean burger stuff, and since we both really liked vegan food and whatnot, cause like it just tastes fucking good. And if it's healthy, sure, why not? I tried it. It was the best thing I've ever had. Bought a box, brought it home. It was disgusting. It got messed up on the way home? No, no. It was perfectly fine. It did not expire for another uh, 10 months, give or take. Uh, the, the box was in perfect condition. Not repackaged. Not damaged in any way. No, none of the burgers were expired. 
for some reason, it, it just tasted like vomit to me. My grandmother and my mother were fine eating it at the time, but uh, they they enjoyed it, but I, I just didn't. And I don't know what, what the deal was. Like, I physically saw the lady go to the freezer, pick a box out, like a brand new box, not repackaged or taped or anything, rip it open with her bare hands, bring out a couple burgers and prepare them and cut up little pieces and give it to us. Huh. And I we prepared like we prepared it via the instructions every possible way that the instructions told us to. It would always taste like garbage to me. I I do not understand what happened there. Like you it was. Didn't make it with love. That's the secret ingredient. No, cause like we tested other burgers from the same place, right? And they were all good. They were all really fucking good. It was just that bean one. No matter where we bought it from, which package it came from, no matter if it was fresh or not. It was just horrible. Either I was duped at the Costco and given something else, or it was just never good in the first place and I just dreamed it. Maybe you just dreamed it. Sometimes I dream about burgers. Might be the first time I ever dreamed about a burger, to be fair. Until the Abyss has engulfed oh. the thrones, Don't my war with destiny will see no end. Eh, depends. Maybe you're on like a journey to make the burger good. Nah, fuck that. I already gave up. I, I found the perfect burgers. Okay, I usually either buy uh, patties that are made out of turkey or chicken, uh, salmon, or the the mushroom stuff. At the moment, my favorite are the salmon ones and the mushroom ones. They are so good. Like, I don't care what people say, like, oh, vegan food is, is not all that, blah, blah, blah. No, shut up. It, it is, tastes good and it's healthy. I'm in. I do not care. That, those Sometimes are the two qualifications I need. Sometimes it's not as healthy. There, there was a, um, there was a controversy with one of the companies that was using like artificial blood flavoring in their burger and it was like toxic to human beings or something. Yeah, but that's like, I, I, I don't want to dismiss it, but it, it sounds similar to, uh, the, this one article I found that eating certain fruits can kill you and then it brings up a fucking chart that you would eat, need to eat like 10,000 apple seeds to die of cyanide poisoning. I think it was 100 or 250,000. Yeah, like a big fucking ridiculous number. Like, it, it is just a general, I feel like it's a general rule of thumb that anything in excess or too little is harmful. Drink too little water, you're dehydrated. Drink too much water, you're fucked. Eat too little, you're malnourished. Eat too much, you you start having uh, problems, depending what you're eating. Maybe cardiac it's problems. It's all about the balance. It's all about the balance. Just like Thanos. He had it Listen right. Listen to me, Ether. I have True. already traveled through this he world once. He had it all once. right. One, once the you one reach vegan the end food that I really like I did, is the vegan hot dogs. For yourself. Oh my god, I have been in a search for like them. I've been in a search like for them. Yeah. Ooh, got some. hot dogs, they make me feel sick within minutes. So we'll meet again. These, they taste like hot dogs, they Though don't make me feel rush, sick at all. Brother, I have more than enough to the point where I'm like, food. I eat them, and then I'm like, something's missing. I don't feel like I want to vomit. <laughs> when I see them, I buy them. We have always had enough time. No way she just walks away like that. Huh? It just didn't work? Hello? It just straight up just rejected those two. It is what it is. It was all a dream. That entire scene didn't... It wasn't real. This is fucked up. This poor guy has been looking for his sister for who knows how long. Finds her. She tell she tells him that this world's fucked up. You should join us. Leaves without elaborating. Uh, that's probably not even her. I don't know. I just I, feel like it. I heavily doubt it. I don't want it to be her. Well, we don't. Oh, uh, when the story starts, we don't know anything about these we'll two people before again. they get there, right? Look on the bright side. Uh, no, no. Uh, like literally, the first anything? scene is. Well, not bare, not the literal first scene, but like the first thing that happens is that these the, the the twins are flying around, 
fighting a lady, lady encases the first, uh, it depends who you pick. If you pick the girl, she encases the boy. If you pick the boy, she encases the girl. And, uh, try land on a, a blow on her, she encases you, then you just wake up on a beach and say Paimon, and you just, you're just there. There's no other information. You literally just get isekai on the spot, and your sister separated from you. Yeah, or brother. It's great. In like Zelda, like at least you had a whole game beforehand. You know exactly what she's like, and then in the next game, uh, you see her, and you're like, "That's not Zelda. That's not Zelda at all. She would never do that." I mean, this is what happens with a new IP, and you want to do the story, and uh, I don't remember slash don't know what's going on. Fashion, because Paimon does not remember w how she got here either. She just is there. I have a feeling Paimon's the villain of the entire story. <laughs> There's been plenty of people making fan-made clips and, and edits of her being the final boss. You you collecting all of the seven uh, powers and elements and whatnot. And she's like, haha, thank you for doing that, Traveler. Now, now it's time for the final battle and she kicks your ass. Yeah, that's probably what's going to happen. I, I'm pretty sure. Either she's like, she's like a nuclear bomb that you use to kill the villain, or she is the villain. I hope... And then she's like, oh, I remember. Honestly, I hope it's the first one. I've never heard someone theorize the first one, and it just sounds funnier. Just chucking Paimon like a fucking grenade at the final boss. Well, that's what happened in The Legend of Zelda Phantom Hourglass. What? You, you wash up on an island, and you find a fairy, and it's kind of like the Navi deal, but this fairy guides you across the oceans. And sudden, like, at the end of the game, the fairy is like, Oh, I'm the spirit of the ocean. And then she absorbs into your sword and you kill the, uh, the god of darkness. Okay, so when people said that this game was a Zelda ripoff, I always assumed it was, like, a parallel to uh, Breath of the Wild. I didn't know that people were actually, like, genuine about this. Like, there was already a Zelda game that had the same premise. Or a similar There's premise. There's so many games that have the same premise. Like, the... Like, the, the nuclear bomb um, companion premise has been a thing for ages. I don't remember what the name of that fairy was in the in Phantom Hourglass, but it is one of my favorite Zelda games. And uh, it was, uh, it's been long forgotten to time, because it was a, it was a really early DS game, and it, it didn't, didn't handle, like, extremely well. It didn't get a remake, like some of the Mario ones from the literal N64 that got remade into Switch. Mario 64 was incredible. I think as a game, <laughs> it was better than Zelda Phantom Hourglass. But Zelda Phantom Hourglass is just one of my favorite Zeldas overall. I should introduce you to my friend Flip. He is like a living encyclopedia of everything Zelda. Yeah, I wonder if he knows uh, a bunch about Phantom Hourglass. I'm... Maybe he'd explain it different. I'm just the way that I saw it, uh, or the the way I remember it. Last time I hundred percent of the game was like five years ago. Um, huh. I actually I I had a DS cartridge where I hundred percented it, and then I sold the cartridge for double what I paid for it. And I I kind of missed that era of video games where you were able to have a save slot on the cartridge. So you and your friend could swap cartridges and be like, hey, I have 100% on my account. Like, all right, whatever. I, I, I remember that. I, I still do that with my friend sometimes. Right now, he has my copy of uh, Mario Luigi Bowser's Inside Story. It has three save slots. One's empty, one's his, one's mine. Uh, and he gave me his Mario Luigi Dream Team. We, ca we occasionally swap. But uh, now that he doesn't really use his DS anymore, I'm going to see if I can get it back since he's more of a Switch guy now. Yeah, as soon as the... Uh, I, I believe as soon as uh, video games hit internet connection, it was uh, it, it was mostly all over. I mean, like, in the in the early days with the dial-up. Of course, there was Unreal Tournament with uh, the good old multiplayer. You'd be able to fight people. I mean, technically, but... you can still do that in modern day. It's just instead of passing a cartridge, you pass the, the account email and password. <laughs> Yeah, and then you get in trouble because you're not supposed to share your account. Oh, please. Oh, yeah, Companies are so fucking hypocritical. They, they, it, I feel like every half a decade, every decade, they're going to do the whole password shenanigan like Netflix did like a couple years ago where they said sharing your password is love and now you can't do that anymore. It's legal. 
Yeah. Well, you can still share your password on Netflix. It's just really hard. It's just um, not worth the trouble. And I love how people complain about it, but then they just didn't care. Like, people just adapted to this new system quickly and it didn't matter anymore. Updating culture, too. As soon as, like, the PS3 hit and uh, like Call of Duty uh -huh. the whole that thing about new, Call of Duty well on the PS3 was like oh games. I gotta wait for a 20 also gigabyte a update to play the game so I'll just too, like, go right? outside god I hours. hate that and, I... Like, and now games are starting to be released seven years early and uh, they're unplayable and they're like okay we'll just patch it later what? They're, they're, okay yeah. okay there, there are two good examples of this two very amazing examples of this Subnautica and Cyberpunk two complete and total opposites of that scale subnautica was such a just empty mess when it first came out but people still got it because it was a fascinating concept and look at how big of a franchise it is now third game is allegedly going to be announced early 2024 and this is a franchise that's been spanning for what uh four or five years i think since 2017 actually so even longer than that Versus Cyberpunk, which is probably one of the worst game releases that we've seen in the last 20 years, maybe more. Yeah, but they they, they fixed that game up. They gave it some, You're gave right. it some better boots. I will give it credit for fixing it, but then they released the DLC, which was basically equally as broken as the base game when it first came out. At least from what I've heard. I haven't played it myself, but I have friends who've played it. They've streamed it to me. I've seen it, like, hand, like at first hand. It, it looks horrible i i've seen the broken mess i've seen when it got fixed and then i saw the dlc when it released which was a broken mess again i don't mind developers releasing games that are in beta or unfinished like subnautica or some people like to technically call minecraft and terraria the same thing because it's cool you know slowly getting the updates seeing the game evolve and and expand itself over time like I paid for a full game, and they're literally filling up this empty thing. Why not? I just feel like the method Cyberpunk is doing it was horrible. And they still haven't gone out of that bad habit if they've done it a second time. Hopefully they won't do it a third time, because apparently it's going to be more DLC. Also, I appreciate the seek fluid. My bad. No, please, I need water. I'm talking a lot. My bad. Dude, if you drink too much, you'll blow up. You'll blow I, up. I've only had three water bottles. <clears throat> but yeah. I, I, I think uh, companies releasing games that are not complete isn't a bad thing. As long as they do it in a bright, polite manner like Subnautica or Minecraft in a sense. Which literally released an alpha. And it was nothing but just walking around in blocks. And look what it is today. One of the biggest games on the fucking planet. That's right. Um, by the way, what they said just now is all pretty confusing. I like Minecraft more. Did you understand it at all? Yeah. I feel like the third dimension is uh, necessary for me. Oh, wait, are, are, is this like a comparison to like Terraria or something? Yeah, Terraria. Um, Between the two. Yeah, I prefer Minecraft. Although I really, really do like Terraria. I just lack the people to play with. Not a lot of people want to play Terraria these days, which is kind of sad. It's not a bad game. I just feel like it's mainly enjoyed with people. As is most games, I guess, these days. But... I can play Minecraft single player all day and not get bored. Probably tired, because, you know, human body. If I was a robot, I could probably keep going. Terry, on the other hand, after the first hour or two, I kind of want to take a break. Maybe go on a walk or something. Walk the dog. One of my greatest achievements in life is I played Minecraft for two days straight without getting up. How? By accident. By accident. Yep, by accident. You didn't fall asleep. You didn't eat. You didn't drink. Just there. Nope. 
Minecraft. I didn't eat, I didn't sleep, I didn't go to the bathroom, nothing. Just played Minecraft for the whole weekend. First off, it seems like Just your sister is leading the abyss order. Even the abyss the game world open? answers I'm impressed, it. honestly. Still, Jesus I fucking I didn't, I didn't look at the, the time. I was like, wait, it's a new day. When I looked at the time, I was like, oh, it's also, 5 a.m. The next day. Turns out the abyss order and Dane is... So that's why you're... But if the, also... Uh, I just kept, I just kept going, after yeah, I'll eat later. I have something to do in my trap. I have something I gotta do. Yeah, you're right. Then... We can't let ourselves get our journey. Oh uh, yeah, I, I gotta pee a little bit, but like I gotta do this thing in Minecraft first. Let's go. It was like uh, when your personal trainer is like one more push up, and then do one more push up, and they're like, "That was stupid. Do another one." And you've already done 400 push ups. They're like, "All right, let's get to 450." Hmm. Whatever. Over here trying to mimic the fucking uh, Saitama workout. The Saitama workout is like not that bad. And I think that's the joke. I mean, Where he's like, yeah, it, I run a quarter mile and I do five push ups a day. And what do you mean a quarter time. mile? I swear it's a 10 kilometer run. Uh, let me see. Uh, what is Saitama? It, it, it's like 100 push ups, 100 sit ups, 100 squats, uh, 100 uh, something else, and a 10 kilometer run every day for like a year straight. 100 push-ups, 100 sit-ups, 100 squats, and, uh, yep, 10 kilometers every day. I think the push-ups, sit-ups, and squats aren't that bad. I, I feel like I could achieve that in a day. The run, however, that would absolutely murder me. Six miles? We used to have to walk, uh, during summer camp 12 miles a day. I can see you achieving this. I was fat. I have permanent damage from that. How old were you? Sixteen. Seventeen. Like, was it straight? Like, did you at least get breaks every, like, couple hundred steps? Uh, every couple every minutes? Couple thousand steps. It was up and down hills and twisty and shit. I I'm probably downplaying the, the length or size of a step here, so that's why I said hundred. How many steps is 12 miles? That would be almost 30,000 um, steps. Are you okay? How many steps I've is 10k kilometers or 10,000 kilometers? And when the going gets tough, she said, and we won't find out what the uh, don't, although, where's, oh, you mean the, you're right. Uh, we ruled out two of hmm. <gasps> Why don't we uh, Oh, let's see what she ha um, 12,000 ish steps. <laughs> About? Really? So it's less? Well, huh. well, 10 kilometers is six miles. Am I getting something confused? I always thought the kilometer was bigger than a mile. Might be getting something confused here. Or maybe I'm just comparing it how a meter is bigger than a foot. And then like a... A little over one and a half kilometers in a mile. Hmm. Because uh, 60 miles per hour is 100 kilometers per hour. Alright, so, so it is... Okay. Hmm. I should really check how many steps I do. Because I, I occasionally exercise and like walk around town for like 45 minutes. And I never really pay attention how many steps that is. Dogs right now. 
Lucky. What a stroke what? of good luck. I said Yo. lucky. Yo, that's why I'm going, what? Well, I don't have any because I've been able to find the ones that I like. <laughs> the, they're really good. They what are. Did get, what did you get for Christmas? Oh, uh, <clears throat> I didn't get much, but I really appreciated what I got because I really wanted it. Um, I could send you a picture of it later, but uh, like half of my gifts I ordered myself to, to just gift myself a present. But um, let's see. There was this gift exchange at church where we had a very clear instruction or rule different from last year's. The gifts have to be socks. Have to be. They have to be crazy wacky socks for whoever's name you drew from like the little uh, bowl. Okay, so it's a secret Santa for socks. Yeah, uh, last year it was just a gift that had to be uh, under a certain price range and I got like a nice Todoroki, uh, Todoroki figurine. It, it's funny because like um, last year I got the leader of the youth group, which which he's only like, I think, a year older than me. And he pulled my name out of the thing. He got me like, uh, he got me the Todoroki figurine. I got him like a, a hoodie and a shirt of like his favorite uh, franchise. This year, ironically enough, he pulled my name again and got me some Jujutsu Kaisen socks. Which are really comfortable. <coughs> the reason I appreciate all the socks I got this year is because I, I really needed them. I, I had just basic ass black and white socks to wear. And I, I was a little like, I was slightly jealous because I would see that my friends all had like fancy cute socks like of like their favorite things or brands. Meanwhile, me, I just have basic socks. So besides that, uh, I also got some Dragon Ball socks, SpongeBob socks, and my dad gave me some Rick and Morty socks that that came in the funniest fucking package. It is a soda can in the shape of Pickle Rick. And the top pops off, revealing like the the socks and whatnot. Yeah, I'm picking Rick Morty. Oh, I saw that at Marshalls a few weeks ago. They're really comfortable, and they're green. I love the color green. I got Pringles socks. Oh, nice. The, the second pair that he oh. got me was this little. Is there anything uh, I can help you with? It was a literal Frosted Flakes box, but instead of having Frosted Flakes, it was just Frosted Flakes socks of Tony the Tiger and the cereal. I really like the packaging of all the socks I got because the Spongebob ones came in like a little like sushi box which I guess makes sense just Spongebob fish whatnot and the Dragon Ball ones came in like a little I guess like it's not a jar but it's jar shaped but it's painted to look like a Dragon Ball and I think it's very neat I might have just accidentally unlocked a new ADHD obsession with this. Uh -oh. I wanna, I wanna collect socks now, like really nice socks, because they're all super comfortable too. It's not like they're just aesthetic. They, they, they are perfectly functional. I have a whole bunch of ties. Ooh, I kind of, I, I kind of need ties. With, uh, floppy discs on it. That sounds cute. What color is it? Red. Ah, oh, I was expecting purple. Not, uh, oh, it's like a really right. weird kind With a chance of, of success? I only have two it was shirts. Leaving and all I had to after I'd it's escaped like their clutches, red, but is, to my surprise, for a tie, but my got, journey didn't end there. My favorite obsolete, or to put it another uh, way, a new beginning found me. I, I would like to mention that your audio is like approaching and leaving. Oh, that's because I'm rocking back and forth in my chair here. I oh. can also just like turn myself. And he's gone. You hear? You heard it here, folks. He's gone. Hello, everybody. My name is Markiplier. He's back and gone again. Dude, I am going to go uh, uh, work on the video that I'm working on. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, there, there are two more things that need to be addressed. Two more things. Okay. 
the the remainder of my gifts which i'll list off quickly here uh got myself three plushies one is a scream which is like a literal kamikaze enemy in destiny it's adorable and the explosive bits that have been that belong on the back are all beanbag material which is really nice to squish uh i got a servitor plush which just looks like a giant purple eye that i can throw around like a ball really satisfying to do that third thing is a pomni plush from digital circus which is gonna arrive soon last but not least uh destiny goes to the deep dungeon hoodie i got from completing the dungeon which looks amazing it's like a really nice blue and green mixture that was the first like thing the, if you like the digital circus you would probably like lack a daisy is that like another property from them Sim similar with murder drones not from gooseworks it's a completely different studio not from glitch productions nope uh, okay. they're made by um Um, I guess they're their own thing. It's the Lackey Daisy Studio or whatever. All right, because I've been considering watching their other stuff. Uh, it doesn't matter to me if it's a separate thing not related to them, but if it's similar, I could always try it out. Also, what else did you get for Christmas, or was it just ties? I got one tie, um, a $2 dollar store mug, um, shoes, and a toothbrush and three people got me Yu-Gi-Oh cards Yu-Gi-Oh cards really yes get anything fancy out of them I got um, ultimate rainbow over dragon you got a gay dragon sounds nice yes he's he's very gay I I like the G I, I like the Yu-Gi-Oh dragons not just because I'm a dragon VTuber but you know, they, they they look pretty cool between the anime, the games, and, well, the cards themselves. I've never heard of that one, though. Ever. I own the $50 ultra-rare version of Blue Eyes Chaos Max Dragon. Now, I've heard of that one. <laughs> uh, I, I really like that um, Max, in its name, is completely bolded and capitalized on the card. Well, it has to be maxed out, I guess. Uh, that's right. Yeah, well, Chaos, Max, I Dragon. Do, along I, with the other two, one of the obligations. It's really strange when it that one came good. out in the movie, because Seto Kaiba was like, unless oh, you I run out of cards, I must make another one. Reason to go to Inazuma. Uh, and then he, he drew that you up. Should abandon Wait, so, so, to get so, so he just straight up invents a new card. Well, he does that every time, because he owns the card game. It's been a while since I watched Yu-Gi-Oh! You know? And and you're you're reminding me, yeah, it sounds like Kaiba. So Seto Kaiba bought the entire card game. He makes all of his own cards that nobody else can use, because nobody else can have blue eyes, white dragons, and he still loses to the Pharaoh. Imagine owning the game and you still get your ass kicked. That made him so upset he invented time travel at the end of the movie. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, the whole movie was revolving around Seto Kaiba trying to resurrect the Pharaoh because he believed that he could beat the Pharaoh because he was tra he trained for like 15 more years. So How he, old he is he? <laughs> Dude, Seto Kaiba's like 40 in that movie or something. I, I swear know. he doesn't age. Ever. He's, he's like, like Ash. He's like 40 in uh, a GX or something. And he, when he sends his cards to space, which by the way... Uh, they get back to that, where uh, in the newest show, Superman from an asteroid belt comes to Earth to learn how to play Yu-Gi-Oh. What? Superman is in Yu-Gi-Oh? Yep, he literally has laser eyes, laser eyeballs. He can just kill people. I was literally talking about how crazy it is that I remember watching OG Ruby on Netflix back in the day. And nowadays they have a fucking super or mega crossover with DC and shit and like everything looks so like different and brand spanking new and they're trying to say Batman or something. Like it, it is insane. Like it's not surprising knowing how many crossovers happen nowadays thanks to Fortnite being invented and whatnot. But still it, it's just not something I expected. 
Peter Griffin's in Fortnite? Oh, I saw that. I yeah. Th this fuck got leaked like three years ago, I'm pretty sure, and now he's in the game. I don't think his muscle form got leaked. Well, it got leaked that in the files they added Peter Griffin and cosmetics for him, like three or four years ago, but no one could find an image for his character. It was just a file name named after him, Peter Griffin and like something else. That might have been like a psyop or something, that sounds ridiculous. I'm, I'm, uh, it was like one of the biggest like leaks ever and nothing ever happened with it. People thought it was never going to happen and look at it, it happened finally. <sighs> Anything is possible in the gaming industry thanks to Fortnite existing. Yeah, thanks to Fortnite, which is uh, now trying to become Roblox 2, which I'm not entirely against. Uh, yeah, honestly, I... My, my friend has been saying for a long ass time that Fortnite is just not a game anymore, just a, uh, a, a hub, an arcade if you will, that leads you to other games. And that's when we made the connection. That's just Roblox. If Fortnite becomes the new Roblox, I would not mind that. It is a billion times better. I, I hate everything about Roblox. I think Epic Games should just like swallow, um, swallow uh, it and just let Fortnite be on Steam. You should know Steam, that the sea the around Inazuma is, so is engulfed in a perpetual tempest of wind and, they, and rain. They just all they do Supposing is complain about how the that, Epic Games launcher hasn't been able to make to get any past money. The samurai guards that enforce the it would help decree. if they actually put out sales instead of giving out a free game every week. No well, wonder they they're out on that loss. They put out a free game every week because the developers like, okay, we can make the game free. And then there's like a there's like a shit ton of DLC. So like we'll, we'll put the game out and then they'll buy the DLC and people actually do. But like the the social hub uh, on Epic Game Store and the, you can't change your avatar even. And there's just not even there's not enough functionality on the Epic Games. They barely added all. achievements like a year ago. Yeah, it's like not even close to on par with Steam. It, it never will be. I feel they like just... the team behind the store itself are just like the lowest of the low when it comes to that entire company. Because like it doesn't make sense for it to be a, a thing in 2023 and not have a quarter of the customizations that you can find on Steam or Blizzard or any other launcher for that fact. Fucking Wild Tangent Games Launcher, which is an ancient thing I used to use when I was a fucking child to play games on my mom's computer allows you to change your name and profile picture and, sh and shit like that. Epic Wild Games Launcher Tangent doesn't. Games. They yeah. have been out since 2001. Yeah. The Flash version of Plants vs. Zombies used to be on Wild Tangent Games. Guess what? I have that downloaded on my computer right now, right next to Genshin. I know. I've seen it. Your desktop is a mess. It's not a mess. It's organized in my special way. But the you point is... You snap all of your icons from the grid. I am not... A maniac. Sorry, not maniac. That's wrong what? and offensive. What? I am not an innovator like you. What? what? Oh. Your desktop is innovative, okay? If that's the word you want to go with. Innovating is uh, probably the best word to describe it, actually. But yeah, well, how, how does a 2001 game launcher have more options and more features than one that was created barely five years ago in this modern day and age? Yeah, and they've they've dumped like millions of dollars into designing the Epic Games launcher and like... How? It's like they're... the most boring, bare-born things I've ever seen. They make it boring because they want the support of eight-year-old children. And once you put like complicated things in, like like text chat, uh, unregulated text chat, like Steam has, you have a problem for children. The age children minimum is thirteen. Still, man. They don't. They don't care. They will enforce that rule, but they don't care. I mean, yeah, I, I played Fortnite. I've been into creative maps to play like the the ghost shit or like, uh, just puzzle maps customs where you explore and get keys I i've been screamed by children before like th th there's no sort of like even with parental controls there's no sort of moderation in this 
Well, at least that that's a lie. It has better moderation than Roblox at the very least, which is saying something. So Lego Fortnite, I believe, is rated E10. Some of the skins are unavailable because they have uh, guns and holsters. Yeah, I, I, I remember that, that they made a lot of the skins unavailable for certain aspects of the new stuff. It, I, I find it kind of funny. But at the same time, they should just have a setting that separates just... Actually, no. Never mind. Scratch that. I, I, I've come up with this idea for other like games before platforms and then people have pointed out the billion and a half issues with that already. Separating the like the groups or the ranges of who's playing with who creates more problem than just having everyone together in an ocean. Cause separating them causes or at least gives opportunity for shitty people to target certain groups specifically so if there if there are a way to separate like all the kids who are playing fortnite from all the teens and adults it would probably be way worse because then you get people pretending to be in either group not saying that doesn't happen today i mean come on what kid hasn't played gta in this modern day and age when it's supposed Me. to be an adults game shush me. And even if you did manage to, it seems like they really don't want anyone setting foot in Inazuma, huh? It is a miracle and stranger to hear that a child hasn't played GTA than they have, which is a sad thing to say out loud. They only said that, but if you really, uh, that's not what I meant. Voyaging far. You're right. But I don't have high hopes for GTA. The Alcor is the flat. Then there's not. I kind of just don't care anymore. I don't even remember the last time I got on GTA 5 and played around. I just hope GTA 6 is cool, I guess. <sighs> uh, I heard a rumor that it was going to be $150. Yeah, I heard that it was going to be expensive as shit. I believe Take-Two would do that. Or no, it was, yeah, Take-Two. <laughs> I think that's the name of the company. You mean Rockstar Games? Well, Rockstar Games is owned by Take-Two. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't. Which I didn't know they had a higher. Which is to be the most. They are renowned to be the most greedy uh, software company on the planet, next to Adobe. I, I I straight up did not know that they were, they had like a hmm, higher up, if that makes sense. Yeah, I thought was it was just some, Rockstar that it. There was some sort of official statement uh, from them that they wanted to make the money back from development within one week of releasing the game the sad part is that a lot of people who originally played the gta games are probably already adults or hell to to maybe not too exaggerated old people and they would probably would get it and oh, probably some spoiled group of, of brats will convince their rich parents or rich families to get it for them too if it was like a hundred or so bucks Absolutely. One hundred percent. So it's very sad to say and think that they could probably get away with that. Probably. Anyways, don't you have a video to do? I'm actually working on it right now. Hmm? Which is funny. I have, like, um, there is an hour and 30 minutes I have to, I have to edit. Ah! I thought you said you were almost done. Yep. How is this almost done? Well, the, the, the first half of the video, which is the introduction, about three minutes long. It took me about a week to edit to week and record. So, uh, the, the meat of the video right now... Um, I, I'm glad that, that I don't do edited content. I'm glad that I only edited one clip. Well, not just one clip, like a couple clips here and there, and that's it. I learned how to do those perfectly. Never again. I love editing. I love making film uh, like that. My last video, people commented stuff like, I love the way you make videos. I'm your number one fan. The, the shots that you make are really good. They need work, but they're really good. 
and uh, I got I got se almost 70 subscribers off of that video in less than three days. I gotta say that is impressive. I am proud of you and impressed. Because well, honestly, I, I I I I just gotta say hats off to you and anyone who's into editing. Because I just I could never. I I learn how to edit and make thumbnails, and it it's fun. But I just cannot imagine a world where I could do that for hours on end. Like I took an hour to just edit a couple clips and post them, and that's it. No, nothing else. Full on, full fledged video. I could never. I'll record a scene and then edit it, and then I'll be like, "Oh, the editing is making my brain hurt," so I go and record another scene. Oh, I didn't think I, I would see usually, you here. I typically don't record the entire. Oh movie. shit! I started a cutscene. Are these two uh -oh. your friends? Uh oh. Well, I'm gonna. Yes, um, gonna we had the fortune of now. meeting not too long All right. ago. And they are quite dinner. a knowledgeable and talented yeah. pair, and a pleasure to be around. Traveler, we were just discussing the history of Rex Lapis. Would you like to listen? Uh, I've been on glad, this, uh, good sir, your stream is not no to appreciate a, a the almighty power of yes. the Lord of Jesus. All thanks to you and As Rim. I, uh, I appreciate it. Yesterday, some of his PowerPoint we are discussing the whereabouts of by, uh, the first Mora. Messages in the chat. Yeah, I saw them. As everyone knows, very late, but I saw Lord them. And I made sure to see if I could fix it between to last uh, last night and today. To develop trade with the early nations of that time. Today. Liyue holds the sole right it to cast Mora in the How high can you look at my stream, by the way? Is it 1080? The first Mora should have been cast uh, by the hands of the Lord of Geo himself I thousands of years ago. My According to my research, as well as my own hypothesis, I believe that this coin of unique historical significance has been passed down secretly through the years as a kind of token. For example, perhaps the Qi Sing who control the Liyue use it in some kind of unknown ceremony really? they hold when they come to power. No, no, no. My 1080p 60 and it's running decently. Yep. Is not such a simple I'm impressed. Well, thank you for confirming that. It's because uh, yes, we all your know. stream was running like that because Even today was, your processor was like, I have to run the game. For its curious and then, and then of your OBS was like, I need the entirety the of the processor to would render no all doubt of these possess uh, the strongest uh, power. And your, in my uh, next historical your treatise will boldly expound on the newest findings from my had no intent. Idea. That is, that the Lord of Geo... It's honestly surprising that my CPU did not explode. It was always at like 30-40%. Never got above 50. OBS is just a... It's, it's a wonder that it even works most of the time. It just... It's, it's a very buggy program. Breaks all the time. Especially streaming on YouTube. It's impossible. How the fuck do people stream on YouTube then? Um, even Markiplier was like, yeah, I tried to... Uh, I, I use OBS. Um, I'm trying to stream on YouTube and uh, I can't see my chat. The chat's broken. It's, it's all gone. It's all over. YouTube streamers are a different breed. I uh, hats off to them, honestly. I have a lot more success on YouTube than I, do, than I did on Twitch. For me, the inverse is true. Then. But then again, my channel is full of bods, so it wouldn't really get a lot of traction except the occasional clip. You actually have, well, actual videos on there. Yeah, I have actual. I feel like uh, Fish is going to be like a hub of some sort where I, I do streams, shorts, and videos. And then that's like kind of like that. And then you go there and you're like, oh, I, I watch the streams or oh, I watch the shorts or whatever. I, I love that I, that was my original idea until I made like three separate YouTube channels. And there's nothing on on the other on the others. I, I guess the separate YouTube channels thing is just really out of style, because you could just put it all together and then it's all in the same place. I'm hoping to get 200 subscribers by the end of the year, and I have uh, four days left. I think three three days. Uh, I am ten away, I I believe. Um, and I'm hoping that I can get to a thousand and monetized by October, or else I've run out of time. Time for what? Um, I've run out of time in general. Trying you're, to. Uh, you heard it here, YouTube folks. Channel. If he can't monetize by October, he's gonna get swallowed by a black hole, cease to yeah, exist. If, well, yeah. If I, 
I can't do it by October. I run out of money. I got to get a job. I got to shut fish down. That's just how it is. I believe in you. You got this. I mean, it took me um, nine months to make a hundred and then one to make another 100. So what's what's 200 to 300 going to look like, you know? Now that my videos are actually, like, good, because you can watch, like, the Scrub Daddy video and be like, oh, yeah, that's a good video, and then watch one of my older videos and be like, what happened? You can start snowballing it, which is basically, you know... YouTube's growth is gen generally exponential until you hit your first plateau and then you have to start uh, making more quality and stuff. Yeah. Meanwhile, uh, yesterday um, I worked for I worked for 13 hours uh, making that sh making those shorts and editing. And recording. Well, buy the book. I can't uh, say. I <laughs> Let us not speak of the authenticity of the dagger and sword first. But Mora and money came about simply because they are a convenient measure of a contract's value. Rex so, Lapis uh, we'll just meant for goes. Mora to serve as and, a catalyst uh, I, I for people it. to exchange and trade. And hopefully the IRS doesn't want to take all of my money. Well, if at any point you see me streaming and you want to come in here and chat, you're free to advertise whatever you uploaded latest. Dude, let's, let's stream Fortnite festival which is the guitar hero one and then uh, i'll just I'll, I'll shout out my own channel every five seconds i need to test it out first because like i said i the last time i attempted streaming fortnite was like back in like what chapter three or four whenever the map was flooded and it never worked wait that was like 12 seasons ago wasn't like chapter four and five not even a full 10 seasons Like, they just started doing less and less seasons and just changing the chapter. I think that was, like, five or six years ago still. By now, the game's even more optimized. It might just straight up work on your computer. It might be streamable. If you can stream Genshin Impact at 1080p60, you could probably stream Fortnite. It'd be fine. Holy shit, I could probably stream Minecraft again. Dude, yeah. Minecraft isn't, like, well, actually, the Java version is shit. That's the a Java fucking version, first. It takes... Well, listen. The Java version is my favorite version of Minecraft, and it always will. The world's first more. Mm. Its optimization no. is no, poor. Enough. Do you think you they had to make the Bedrock the engine Geo for uh, consoles, know, but, well, because the consoles is, could okay, not then, run the Java there's version. A simple, That's how poor the optimization oh. is. I always thought it was backwards, because Bedrock is, well, nicknamed Bug Rock for a reason. And bedrock is what it is. Bedrock has certain things like, oh, you can open a you can open a server without like starting a server, the the software, and then people could just join you in your single player world. And that's crazy. That's cool. Like like you could do on Xbox, but on Java you have to run a whole program. I have to install the Java developer kit, and I have to cry for six hours while I try to get this server working. And then I only have 16 gigabytes of RAM, so it's all over. And the server support doesn't support quad core, and I have six. I have six cores. It can only use one. Whatever. That's fine. Yeah. I think that is... Honestly, personally speaking, they should just make... Like, not make a Minecraft 2 per se, but finally make the 2.0 update where they just optimize everything. Because I think the top three most asked for updates are optimization... Combat 3.0 and the end update. Combat 3.0 is going to piss off so many people no matter what. I, I don't care. You know why? Because the new modern combat will always and forever be better than the, than the old. I don't care what people say about crystal PvP or the netherite armor or the shield or whatever. Spam clicking was never a good PvP system. This is actually a system for once. And whatever comes next, hopefully upgrades it. Maybe by adding new weapons and new ways to fight. I was never a PvP person in the first place. I prefer building and exploring. But whenever it came to one be winning a friend or just playing online like a Skywars thing, it always pisses me off that it's old combat. Because it's easy to cheat. 
This is why so many servers have so many problems with bots and, and shit that always ruin a match and just clear it in three seconds, killing everybody. They should totally bring back the spam clicking. Nah. I think that would make the game really good. Bedrock or Bug Rock can keep the spam clicking. It, it, it's... nah. It's just no fun. You're just spamming a fucking button. Meanwhile, in the new system, you hit, you time it, you hit again, use your shield, do whatever. It feels like a real system. Especially with all the options you have. In theory, you, you could literally win against someone who has full netherite. And meanwhile, you're wearing just iron. Yeah, but also... I could click the mouse really fast. Yeah, but also, spam clicking with modern Minecraft would be so disgusting. Like, absolutely horrendous. Not in like it would be bad, it would just be a billion times worse than before. Like, if you I think could. They should add back the, uh, the, the sword blocking. I think that was a good idea. I think, unfortunately, I don't want this as a, as a modern combat update guy, but I think the best way to compromise is to have an option or a game rule that allows you to switch between combat systems. I don't know if that'd be too complicated. Then again, they recently just added a game rule that allows you to freeze and speed up the world and go back in time all in one command. Oh, which, a tick speed? Yeah, they added a tick command, which I didn't think would be a possible thing. Because usually... Oh, mod speeds, uh, that's you been changeable since beta. No, I know about that. But like usually mods, when they add a tick command, it tells you how many ticks are going on, if anything is like too fast or too slow, blah blah blah. Usually it's for redstone stuff. With the command that they added, you can straight up just time travel. Because why not? You can just accelerate by 100 days or go back 20. Or just freeze everything. I am not a redstoner or a map maker or data pack maker. Not useful to me. But I find it very cool and I hope they're able to make awesome things with that. I there used to set tick speed insanely high and then I'd burn down a whole forest in one second. Well, no, hold on. Wait, wait. I, I, I completely messed it up. They, they redid the tick command. Because I know what you're talking about. You can't, you could increase the tick speed in game beforehand, but they, they added a different thing that is related to the tick speed. I don't remember what it's called. But it, it's not just like, oh, crank it up to 100 and you see this forest burn out in like a couple seconds. I think they should put the spam clicking back in. <laughs> or just add a game rule for it. Excuse me, sir. There are plenty uh, of game rules that I never thought would be possible. It's no problem I, at all. I believe that of combat course. system, just putting it in alongside the other one, might might cause some crazy exploits. Or uh, some crazy non-optimization. That might be a problem. Otherwise, they might have done it already. Well, you'd think they would have added actual caves ten years ago, but they didn't. I, you know what? I personally enjoy the game better before the caves update. So many people say that. And I only because... disagree because I prefer exploring the big new caves than just having to strip mine for 10 hours. With the caves update, every single one of the Minecraft uh, gamer journals that they sold in 2015 are, are outdated. Yeah. Every single piece of information on those, gone. I used to know where to strip mine. And now it's all over. Well, technically it's not all over. Because it's not entirely outdated. It simply has some, some bonus things that need to be added. I, I have some of those journals still. And it would be cool if they released a new batch. In regards to, well, the latest they update. They do update them. They have updated those. Wait, really? Yep. You can find them at Barnes & Noble, I think. I swear to you, I did not know this information. I just assumed... I... That we just had the same ones forever, you know? I also got the Minecraft cookbook from Barnes & Noble. Oh my god, I need that in my life. <laughs> I got the Five Nights at Freddy's cookbook, which is much better than the Minecraft cookbook. I want the Halo cookbook. A lot of the Minecraft cookbook is like...
they go they go off of the fact that like a child might want this cookbook and they're like okay ch children aren't going to know how to cook a lot of things so we got to make everything easy but the five nights at freddy's cookbook is like actually like like thai chicken patties it takes four days to make well, I mean, I, I I don't own the cookbook, but I did look into some of the stuff. Isn't there like literally like a slime smoothie or something that? Yeah, there's a slime smoothie. I believe it teaches you how to make the square cake. Square cake isn't that hard. My grandmother does that all the time. You need a special pan. That's it. Yeah. It's just a cake with uh, frosted. Put some cherries on the top. But the the, the Five Nights at Freddy's cookbook has um something really funny in it called uh soda roni i am concerned by that word combination in the five nights at freddy's universe there they have a pepperoni soda which is canonically very popular i think but what is wrong with these people it's, ju it's just a cherry drink that you can make well what would a I... fucking pepperoni soda even taste like in the first place just wet pepperoni no, with like, fizziness? Like carbonated pepperoni. Honestly, I'd be into it. I'd give it a go. I'd give it a go, but I would also be concerned of what I'm putting in my stomach. I legitimately wish they would have doubled down on soda roni in the so I could... Watch them add soda roni to the next movie. I don't know what to expect from the next movie. Currently, there's a book adaptation of the movie now, and it's, it's a little different. Really? We have order. Uh, that's cool. I haven't even seen the movie yet. So, uh, Scott Carson authored the movie, but he had somebody else author a book about the movie. Different. So, I, I think she's a professional author. Uh, it creates this weird love story between Mike and Vanessa that people didn't like, I guess. I haven't read the book. But, uh, it's, it's kind of like that. Wait, I guess the ew, why? Like... People, what? I know, ew, what? why? <laughs> oh, hold, hold on, hold on. Aren't they siblings? Am I missing something? No, not in the movie. Not in the movie. They're completely different people. In the okay, movie. okay. Because, like... As far as we know. The excitement of opening a treasure chest God. has at least made it a worthwhile What the fuck is experience. wrong with people? Because why? Mike Schmidt is actually Mike Schmidt in the movie. His last name is literally Schmidt. <laughs> okay. I, like I said, I haven't watched it. I just know all the 8 billion things Twitter told me and my friends who actually watched it. Never got a chance to watch it. I had plans to do so and they just fell apart. Every single one of them. Yeah, well, I've, I've watched the movie five times. It's legitimately, like, solidified. I love the movie. It's not a good movie. <sighs> but it's a, it's a movie. That's what it's, I'm it's trying to convince my other friends. The ones from the B2Bing group. At least I'm trying to convince them that we should watch it just for the fun of it. Not because it's going to be a good movie, but at least it's going to be fun. It's 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 for the fans of Five Nights at Freddy's. If you don't like Five exactly. Nights at Freddy's, you're going to give that's, it a 1 out of 10. That's what I've been saying the entire time. Because like one of them is like one of them confidently uses like a movie reviewer, YouTuber, who is like, he does really excellent reviews. I'll give him that much of like any movie any show you recommend it to him he'll give it a try and then give it an honest review and the review is good it's accurate i've never seen him miss on a review but he reviewed fnaf movie badly uninteresting and i i'm trying to convince anyone who tells me that hey you gotta be a fan to enjoy it if you're not a fan you're either gonna be like what the fuck is this mess or like oh hey this is kind of interesting there is a lot of background knowledge you need for the movie, like when when Golden Freddy appears. In some lighting, he just kind of looks like regular Freddy, and then people go through the whole movie without even knowing what that is. Yeah. And then when Golden Golden Freddy gets in the taxi, it moves the entire fucking taxi, and Corey... Wait, 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 wait. That was Golden Freddy? Yeah. In the See? They did... I, they, I swear, in the trailer, that was normal Freddy. Did they change the color? Because they do this with trailers. It's trailer magic. No, they didn't change the colors. It's a completely different suit. I swear to you. It it's looks brown. It's a completely different thing. It looks brown. It does not look golden in any way. When, when you watch the movie, you will see a difference in, like, maybe two shots where he looks a little bit gold. 
You know, there is something that's allowed me to uh, sway them a little bit to watch the movie, and it's the fact that Matthew Lillard is, uh, well, purple guy. He He's I the man himself. Was, I wish there was more of him in the movie. Probably will be more he in the was, second, assuming that he didn't get off already. I doubt he it. He was the best actor in the whole movie. Well, yeah, it's he Matthew Lillard. Back. Yeah, he always comes back. He always comes back, but like... Uh, I I heard the story about when he was um he was uh, Shaggy. He was interviewing for Shaggy and he couldn't do the voice so right. So before the interview, he was literally screaming at the top of his lungs in his car to try and break his voice into Shaggy's voice. <laughs> and the guy that the guy that was going to interview him walked up to his car and he knocked on the window. He's like, "Are you okay, sir?" He's like, "I'm Matthew Lillard." <laughs> and then he he just he just got the role from that. That is fucking hilarious. I didn't so, know that. Yeah, so imagine like being like, okay, someone's going to interview for Shaggy in, in my Scooby-Doo movie, and I, I'm waiting, and then you hear from the parking lot, <sighs> <laughs> and you're like, what the fuck? And you go out there, and it's the guy, it's the guy that you were about to interview. <laughs> in five minutes. Oh, that's genius. I've heard of many interviews going in interesting ways. That is probably one of the best ones. Ah, oh, Jesus Christ. I think interview culture is crazy. My first interview for a job position, I walked in with my resume and my, my employer was like, okay, did you forget the work experience tab on your resume or what? And I said, oh, I've never worked anywhere before. I am, um, I'm like 18, yo. Know? And he was like, oh, perfect. Let me show you around. I was like, what? 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 He was like, yeah, perfect. I, I, I hope that just means like, oh, you just need experience. Sure, why not? No, it was legitimately perfect because uh, uh, usually when people are uh, introduced to the workforce, I do no love Spina they're, uh, they're willing logo. to work pretty hard. It was designed I did. by my I mother. 12 hour shifts. Have you noticed how it's like a heart? Six days a week. For some time. Jesus. I did irreversible, I did irreversible oh, damage to my legs. If it isn't the Traveler in Paimon. Uh, I'm, no, not, I'm, 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 I'm not working, at least until I graduate. I, I am not. I, I said this last stream, I've said it before a million times, in private, in stream, everywhere. I'm not working and studying. I will not kill myself. I have too many friends who work and study and they are absolutely miserable. I worked and studied too. It wasn't that bad. I did like, uh, well, I was full time at college. And I was also doing 12-hour shifts on Saturday, Sunday. So I got 24 hours of work a week with 40 hours at least of school minus the homework time. So I was pretty busy, I guess. Yeah. I have hats off to the few friends that I know that work and study and have their shit together. In the sense that they, they, they don't want to die, their mental state is, is decent enough to be functional human beings and, and be genuinely happy and just relax, you know? Not freaking out like the average college student that is studying 80 hours a week and working also 80 hours a week somehow and just wants to die and drowning themselves in coffee and any other liquid they can find. I still drown myself in coffee. Before college, I was like, oh, energy drinks will literally just kill you. And they will. But, like, I got into college, and I was like, I literally can't survive. So I, I started drinking Mountain Dew Rise, which is delicious. I've never had Mountain Dew in my life. Mountain Dew, the original Mountain Dew is disgusting. It's the worst thing you could ever drink, ever, for anything. Mount, the original Mountain Dew was designed in the 1920s to be diluted. That's how old Mountain Dew is? Yes. You, uh, Fanta was invented during World War II. I knew about Fanta. I love Fanta. It's one of the few sodas I actually enjoy. But, Jesus, I thought Mountain Dew was a more recent addition to the soda uh, line. No, absolutely not. It was actually made to be diluted with moonshine. Like a mar like a margarita mix. Are you really telling me that 100 years later they haven't thought of fixing up the recipe a bit nope just like coca-cola well they coca-cola thought about 
fixing up the recipe. They changed it a little bit, and then the entirety of the south of the American, of the United States, was like, I hate you because you changed. That was called New Coke. People can use Coca-Cola to clean toilets and car radiators. Yeah, I knew a police officer that kept an entire two liter of Coca-Cola in, uh, in his trunk because it took blood off of pavement. What? Yep, and I was like, you're, you're fucking with me. And he was like, no, check out my trunk. And he had, he had like three two liters of Coca-Cola there. I should yeah, try this whatever. out. If, 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 uh, what am I? never bleed on your pavement. Oh, wait, you said pavement? Yeah, on the, on the blacktop. Okay, the okay, I, I, th I thought you said paint. Because my cats occasionally will massacre a, a bird or a lizard in, in the garage, and they'll be, I'm, I'm not gonna say that it's like a fucking bloodbath, but it, there'll be a little bit of blood here and there, and like, cleaning it is always a pain, even if you have the right products. I, I, you 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 really really made me consider like damn you just pour a bit of Coca Cola in there I'm done. Yeah, the Coca Cola will take the paint off of the wall. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah. Um, I think they did a study where they put a rat in a vat of Coca Cola and then the rat disappeared. <laughs> what? Um, yeah. Uh, the FDA says that soda cannot expire, but that's untrue. By far. I am 100% sure expires, soda can expire, and it's uh, awful. After soda expires, it starts to eat through the aluminum can. What, what is soda? What the fuck did we invent that is so awful? Carbonated water creates something called carbonic acid. Which is not the strongest acid, but it's pretty good. You know? Which is why it fucks up your teeth so bad. Just like coffee does. But coffee's not carbonated. Dude, carbonated coffee sounds pretty good, actually. I love coffee and I hate soda. That's a drink that would probably spell my demise. Um, so, car yeah, so when carbonic acid spoils, it will just, like... I knew you guys would come. It'll eat the aluminum, and then if you drink the... <laughs> The, Pay it no the heed. Soda after the I mean only to say I am certain that it is by fate, good not you, chance alone, all. that we should meet. Uh, and, and that the bottle gives too, our encounter plastic meaning. Bottles, even worse, you're just drinking plastic. Because it's eating the plastic. What about the glass bottles? Glass bottles, glass is mostly untouchable by this acid as far as I know. Yeah, because I, I, I remember... I remember two things. I remember reading about this study that uh, looked into how beverages might change taste depending on not just temperature but also what container you're drinking it out of and if you're using a straw and also what type of straw. Food Theory made a similar experiment and it was a success. It is, there is a massive difference depending on the container and or straw or no straw. It's because it's a lot of it's a lot of things like the opening of the container makes it taste different. The aeration of the container makes it different. The shape of the container, the the uh, there's in a lot of cans there is a coating. There's a plastic coating on the inside of the can. Some companies don't do that. Their shit tastes a lot different in the can. Uh, a lot of companies, uh, the plastic in the bottles is so cheap that it's just you're drinking plastic. Out of the bottles. I don't like drinking soda out of bottles very often. Also, also, one, one second. Fuck you, Luna. I'm a better hog player than you. Huh? You may carry on. <clears throat> oh, okay. I actually don't remember where I was. Something, something about companies coating the insides of cans with plastic and whatnot whenever they oh, make yeah. soda. Yeah, Hello, well, Rim. They, they invented that to try and... Um, uh, offset the fact that if the soda does expire, it will literally eat the aluminum, but it still eats through that plastic layer in the can. Coca Cola Espuma? Rim, yeah, what what is espuma. what is the drink that you always have blowing around a billion cans of? What do you mean, beer? No, not the fucking beer. I... Then you have something else like a soda. I think you're confusing that with beer. I swear you used to have a bunch of soda cans lying around. No, no, no. I mean, you mean like collectible soda cans? 
fuck you mean collectible you soda mean? cans? There are I collectible collect, soda I, cans. I so. collect every single soda can that has Master Chief on it. I mean... Actually, those, might, those might go for some money, though. They do. There's a few of them that go for a couple hundred. Yeah. I, I'm here questioning collectible soda cans. Meanwhile, I do have a, a Goku and a Vegeta can that I found once. Yeah, I shut your ass up. Coca-Cola I mean... does a lot of unique cans for like a week and then never again. Like the... Uh, there was a flaming Hot Mountain Dew. What? Like the one that had Coke in it. Yeah, that was... Flaming Hot, hot was, Liquid Soda? Extremely disgusting. I can imagine. Well, Mountain Dew is disgusting, but Flamin' Hot Mountain Dew is disgusting Er, Dude, dude, fucking Jay Schlatt made ice cream out of Flaming Hot Cheetos. I cannot imagine what a Flaming Hot Soda would taste Actually, like. Flaming Hot Ice Cream doesn't sound that bad. It, it is bad. I tried it out of, I tried it out of the video. It? it is bad. Oh, okay. I, it is bad. He, he said in the video that it was alright. It was just weird. Because it's like you're eating vanilla ice cream, but it's spicy. And ice cream isn't supposed to be spicy. I guess it's like an acquired taste. He wouldn't eat it again ever in his life, though. You'll be you like spicy. I'm willing to try it. I'm willing to make it. Maybe I'll make a video about it. I would You're be willing, willing to, to make it, too. I mean, hey, if it's tasty. If you remember where it is, link me that video and I'll... I will make it. You can literally look up. I, I made ice cream. It is literally just an ice cream major default fucking shit and put hot Cheetos in it. No, 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 it's not. They had fancy shit. You can look up uh, Jay Schlatt ice cream tier list with Ted Nivison. It'll be probably the first or second video. They also shoved an entire pepperoni pizza and made it into ice cream in that same video. Honestly? It was greasy. I'd be willing to try that. It was weirdly well. greasy. Weirdly greasy. I mean, like some ice creams are, like pistachio. Sometimes are a little greasy. Pistachios you know, greasy? What kind of well, pistachio no, are you not. eating? Yeah, your your ice cream just fucked up, bro. Uh oh, my ice cream's fucked up. Dude, you guys like um that candy Whoppers? What? What? It, it's like a little malted milk ball covered in chocolate. Oh, Whoppers. Oh yeah. Yeah, Whoppers. yeah I, I used to uh, buy those a, a lot. local. There's a local ice creamery around here that makes Whoppers ice cream. That sounds beautiful and amazing. Give me your address right now. No. Also, hi, Janine. I, I definitely won't dox you, I promise. You're not far off, <laughs> no, no. This young man I can't is fine. this early in my <laughs> career. I, 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 takes me, of course. Rim, Rim, I'll Both tell you later where it's located, but not where him. Hey, just the ice cream. You know, what? It's, uh, you're telling me you're not going to allow me to go into his house and fucking toilet paper his house? Come on. You can't take part if you've got a vision. He would probably release the dogs on you. <laughs> you must oh, there is some. Um, there is uh, well, a Briar's before you dismiss it, get this. Supplied before. by my. Is there really Briar's Whoppers ice cream? As for yeah. whether. Yep. And the way I see. I, I will confess, when you said Whoppers, you scared me because I thought of Burger King so Whoppers. Able to it, oh it's God! An individual of Not that hell. Strength and talent. I mean, if 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 okay, if pizza ice cream can kind of work out. And flaming hot ice cream can kind of work out. Sean, Sean, as a person who actually had health problems from eating one Whopper, and no. What do you mean one? You, you're Floridian. Oh. Your blood Sean, is Sean, literally Sean. invincible. Okay. How did a Whopper Sean. kill you? I've eaten Whoppers okay. happily. So here's the thing. Here's the thing. It wasn't that it was like too greasy or anything. It was the matter of fact that their fucking lettuce is the most goddamn artificial lettuce in the world. Oh, I forget. You're American. Foot lettuce. No, you, he just went to the foot lettuce restaurant. Probably. It's, that's real. Here, any <laughs> ingredient from any fast food, whether it's Wendy's, McDonald's, or Burger King, or whatever you want to fucking name, is fresh. Very fresh. I find, I find it amazing that McDonald's and Burger King have tasted the same for since I've been born. Like you know the like they both taste the same or had a consistent flavor. I'm gonna Whoppers, finger blast them. Whoppers and Big Macs have tasted exactly the same since I was five. Organizing the class Wait, every, single time. Uncovering every single time. Talents. And hopefully this That's time honestly amazing. To glow again. I'm not five. Guys, you hear this? He's five. I'm like eight. I'm, I'm like pretty eight sure he's old. older than you. <laughs> I'm like eight. I'm like eight. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm eight. like eight. Dude, don't even worry about it. Actually, no, wait, you're older than him. My bad. But he is older than me. I'm, Dude, I'm so old that I'm retired. No, you're not. I'm the only one that here that can say he's actually retired. I actually. No, you're did. not either. Neither of you are retired. I, I legitimately I'm basically retired. retired from my industry. Much to say, oh. 
you both work. Well, so I'm not, not. I'm not retired from working. I'm retired from the automotive industry. Sugma. Right, you two. I, I literally can't. You two are the Sugma. the car people that I know that are very good with the car stuff. So I don't want to use the M word because I don't want to offend uh, anybody here. Oh, a mechanic, huh? You you think I'm uh, a mechanic? Oh, mm, okay, buddy. I, I forgot okay, your title. Buddy. Yeah, what do you think? I'm a fucking caveman? You're an automotive technician, I remember. Ah. Yeah, I went to college. Wait, you went to college for yours? I have a degree in technology. Yeah. He bought his in Florida. What? I, I just slammed a bunch of car parts together until I understood. Yeah, that's all how that's how a lot of people do. And <laughs> I'm, you, I, y'all, y'all are I very valuable. I bashed two engine blocks together until they went together. <laughs> uh, yeah, this has a crack in it now. I think I see the problem. Like, just put some flex seal in there. I know the one time I had a I had a crack in one of my cylinders in my car. I didn't want to replace it, so I just literally stuffed hay in it. Dude, there's there's so many uses in automotive for bread. What? <laughs> what? So many uses in automotive what? bread because it's like it's like a hydraulic fluid so at some point. What do you, do you mean bread in a car? You get your hands on one of your people, very own. People unpack yeah. bearings with bread. Well, why didn't you say <laughs> How? Like, okay, I don't have the tool or the patience to take the bearing out of this <laughs> fucking this How bearing. do you use bread Great. for this? Like they I... shove they, they take they buy a whole loaf of bread and then they start hammering the bread into the into the the lace of the bearing and then it pops out. I know someone. Why that, does uh, this that work? Wanna, I know someone that wanted to change their oil, quit fucking lost the top for it, put a loaf of bread in it just so the bread would soak it all up. What? <laughs> what the there fuck? There are so many uses for bread. <laughs> so many uses for bread. <laughs> and you didn't expect that one. Oh, what a stroke of good luck. I, I have used bread to clean up, like, spilled, um, we, we were preparing a cake and some of, like, the, the, like, milk that we use for this specific kind of cake spilled, put bread on it, ten minutes later, there was no milk. It was just a chubby piece of if bread. If you want the best kind of bread to get rid of, uh, gas from your gas can, um, fucking use sourdough. Yeah, sourdough, it's the driest bread ever. <laughs> it is perfect for any of those like really loose liquids just fucking sourdough why would i use sourdough and not just a kentucky fried chicken biscuit because okay that is the driest really thing just, in existence there's no air in it there's no air in it it's really dense true it's dry and dense it's also got like a like a hard shell on it right so it'd kind be of. harder for it to suck anything in I can show you some sh sucking power. Oh, silence. No. I don't want to see. I'm not old enough yet. <laughs> not old I'm a enough minor. yet. You're older than me. Silence. Yeah, and you're a minor. Silence. No, and I'm not. I'm literally 20. Oh, you're grooming no. me. <laughs> Get <laughs> off me. Dream's not here. Calm down. Dude. You're grooming me. I'm done. Get dreamed. Get dreamed on. Get dreamed Get on. Get dreamed on. That's a fucking Dude. sentence. Sean, the allegations are coming out tomorrow. I'll have a Google document ready for you. A <laughs> Google Doc. I'm gonna You're shoot gonna hamburgers to into your skull. You're gonna Dude. have to cancel everything for three months just to make one video. Yeah, I don't. I don't understand how it took him so long to make a video. And then, like, only like only like a minute of it is like for each one. It's like, yeah, this happened. This didn't happen. Uh, I don't know about this one though. And it's an hour long video. God. It, it is literally yeah, longer than 20. most movers. It is longer than most movies nowadays. Hour and twenty minutes, I think it was. Uh, and then he like started with know. the he started with the Minecraft cheating, like that mattered at all. Like, Bro, the, 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 have y'all seen the editing he did for the fucking thing? Oh, I haven't the seen it. The Gumball edits were funny when Gumball punches him in the face. Wait, oh he God. put that in the video? No way. Yeah, he edited um like cartoon gumball punching oh, him in the face. What a stroke of mm -hmm. good luck. I'm really sad he didn't add the Super Saiyan gumball in the in the video. That would have been funny. Ah, uh, I would have loved that. God. It was uh, I'm about to explode. It was uh, I he was posting on Twitter like garbage for the longest time and then he was like, I'll make the video, I swear, I'll make the video, I swear, and then quite in the comments I mean, was like, dude, shut to, up. To, to, to be fair <laughs> to Dream, and I don't and I don't, I don't say this lightly. Motherfucker never actually posted a thirst trap, he just fucking posted cringe. 
Yeah, there was a, there was a, there was it, a it's dream. It is cringe. There was a lot of <laughs> shit people were were on dream for that like it wasn't actually real, but some of the things are concerning. Sean, I'm gonna beat you for your fucking team setup. I'm actually uh -oh. going to beat you. Why? Uh -oh. Hi, your team setups always anger me. Why? They're just bad, dude. Twitch they work. Lets me, uh, Twitch lets no. you see um, your destiny loadout. So I saw your destiny loadout while you were playing destiny yesterday. I was like, oh, is that good? So I sent it to my destiny two friends and they started they screaming. All, they probably all got mad at Sean. They were all screaming and crying and shitting. Good, themselves. good, good. I you, hope that they were suffering to the fullest you extent. Your were you playing Titan yesterday? Yeah, no, why would I play Titan? I, th I look like okay, Sean. To be fair, your stream was one frame every three centuries. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if it's negative frames. What universe am I gonna be streaming Titan? I don't know. I fucking I, I streamed this to my hunter for two days. You're based for that. <laughs> and then I complained the whole day through. What? Sounds One like my friends' reaction. I think he has six thousand or so hours in Destiny I'd have a look. The clash is a uh, mm -hmm. He Nobody said, "I could beat him." Your loadout <laughs> is a sign <laughs> that <laughs> you have clearly given up. What you? Not to mention, I, they tried to sneak. I planted a left hook. I stood. I I, I can take them. I'd win. <laughs> I told you. <laughs> you I'm not you'd win. Uh -huh. Every time I watch him play the game, he's always <laughs> carrying I'll all of his friends. Okay, no, no, no. Hold on. That's a lie. That's a lie. This last time I carried only because I I've been a higher level for a bit. Oh, I'm talking about my friend right now. Oh, okay. Hey, youngster. He's, uh, he's always carrying all of his friends. So also... You better believe it. For me. But yeah, I wouldn't be proud of me for once. I was the one carrying. Most... No, no, no. I know how that. I don't believe you. Every... In most people. Right. It was at two. For... The one time I'm carrying, it's at two frames an hour. Of course. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't well, tell you were carrying because uh, my hero bit of the whole stream alive, fighting, been dead. It's not too long now before you'll get to. I will never give that up. Fucking alive, fighting, then dead. Am I about to beat up this entire civilization on this island? Nope. Oh, oh Sean, you do. Oh. Have you been playing the event for Genshin? That's why I'm speed running through a bit of the story so I can get stuff and, and do the event. Oh, you haven't actually gotten to the uh, the actual event stuff yet, then. Dude, I haven't even reached Fontaine yet. I've only gone like the couple teleports over there. I haven't touched a Fontaine storyline yet at all. I haven't even been to Inazuma. Oh. Uh, I've been to uh, Fontaine before Inazuma. Man's right. been playing the game for Nothing only two hours. Nothing beats real life, but this tournament. Exactly. <laughs> Should I? Do you want to see my map? Do you have my stream pulled up? I'm gonna open my map right now. I do have your stream pulled up. Hold on, hold on. Honey buns ice cream. He sent a challenge. Ew. Little Debbie honey buns ice cream. Oh my god. Yeah, you didn't know this. What is it? There's a lot of little Debbie stuff. There's a little Debbie hands. Brownies. Exactly. Folks will come from far and wide. See you in the. There's one for the oatmeal things. That sounds like pure diabetes. The honey bun one. I would love to make a second episode on moon pies. How about cream pies? Okay, okay, okay. My map's open. Let's see this map of yours. I'm gonna be, uh... This is all that I have unlocked. You don't have the middle of dragon spine? Fucking... Oh my god, you don't have the domain. Oh my god, Let's you see. anger me. Look, look at all the waypoints I have. Well, not the waypoints. The all... Yeah, waypoints I have unlocked. I don't even blame you. I hate, I hate it, Sumeru. I, I, well, what do you mean? I, I unlocked all the ones in Sumeru. At least... The ones yeah, that are available. No, I, just, I just, I just hate, I just hate Sumeru. There's so many scattered. Yeah, I don't even recognize the map. I played the game like five years ago. Like, you know what? I'm gonna fuck off the Dragon Spine right now, randomly, just to get that final one at the top. Cause Moni told me there was a cutscene, and I didn't want to do it off stream. There stream is Runescape. That would be great. I did play uh, Runescape for 12 hours with Sylvestrian once. I have about 4,000 hours on Runescape. I will never play RuneScape again because um, I don't want to hate myself. I played it in 2009 and I got to the part where if you didn't have a subscription, you literally couldn't do anything. So I'd walk to the Grand Exchange, I'd be like, who wants money? And I'd throw all my money on the ground. Sounds like Wizard 101. That is, that is a Wizard 101 moment. Wizard 101, you get to play for an hour before you have to pay. What do you mean? I played that shit for like a year before I had to pay. 
I played for one hour and it was like, oh, if you want to go to this world, you have to get the description. I'm fellow warfare, I guess. Anything, anything past the game, they might have patched that out or something. I played it back when there were commercials for it, in like 2011. Yeah, same. Or 2010. But yeah, like, um, a RuneScape, the one and only time I ever played it was for 12 hours straight with Silb. We were a uh, 12-hour woodcutting stream for his anniversary. I love yeah. woodcutting for 12 hours. I'm going to do a 24-hour Duolingo stream with you. What? Do not. 24 hour Duolingo stream. What? Yes, I'm interested in what that does to my eyes and my brain. Not good. That's what I if can I, say. Uh, if I if I um, sat around for a, a language class for 24 hours, and then I can make a good video about it. Anyways, um, am I gonna die, Donald? Uh, you shouldn't. You know, if you're just not bad. I am. Abandoned you know what? Belongs to whoever finds I it should first. swap for my wife real quick. So, it's legally yours now. Oh, I forgot. Um, yes, I know you're gonna to call her down. mid. The most use, the most useless claymore ever. She's fine. Wow, she's got cat ears. Yet yeah, no one knows what the oh fuck God. she is. If she's a cat wow. or a coyote. She's not a cat. I'm going to actually shoot you. What is she then? Oh, it's a person. She's a cat person. If you have cat ears, you're a cat. Sorry. No, she doesn't even have cat ears. Order shot. Does not. People people argue that they are uh, dog ears. They're neither. Okay, well, what ears do that do those belong to? It's not. It's her hair. What? That look, is her hair. Look, it's no. her hair. They're not that ears. That is her. Oh hair. yeah, that's totally her hair right there. That is her <laughs> hair. Yeah, that's totally not ears. I fu I want you to know. I went into fucking oh, now yes. Um, Unity ripped her model apart, and it is fucking hair, dude. The way she walks makes me uncomfortable. What do you mean the How, way she what walks? Do you mean? What? It looks like it looks like it looks like if I walk like that, I'd I'd put both my hips out. She's I'd running. In, I'd be in an ambulance, dude. <laughs> it would be in an ambulance. I would be in an ambulance. Anyway, I'm sorry for the death. Um, uh, I'm glad that your stream is uh, working properly. Yeah, weren't you moment. supposed to get dinner like an hour ago? Yeah, I'm starving to death. I'm gonna die. His hunger bar is taking, empty. I'm taking Minecraft damage right now. Oh, oh, oh. Hello, what am I supposed to do here? Uh, good luck with the stream. Thank you. No, don't wish him luck. The fuck uh, are you doing? Okay, okay, turn your encoder back to software and uh, die. Break a leg. <laughs> yeah, literally. Uh, break, break all four of your limbs and your fingers. Ouch. Okay, bye. Bye. Bye, gay man. Uh <laughs> god damn it. Oh, god. So I Fuck. actually don't uh. know what to do here. I assume it has to do with me collecting the red stuff and opening up there. Maybe. Maybe it's just get to the top. I did get to the top, and I need to uh, bring stuff over there. Are you sure? Yes. I still hate your team setup. I want to fucking kill you. Skill issue, I, I guess. I want to kill you. I hate your team. Ta da! Well, how about that? Fidget spinner dot exe. Is there another red rock that is closer? Any chance? Maybe behind that meltable piece. What well, meltable piece? I need a red rock to melt that piece, Donald. <laughs> Maybe you're with the I'm not. Oh, I can go higher. I did not notice that. I can 
considering that the dungeon is lower. Hello. That's the wrong button. Take me to the peak. Oh, it's hey, it's one of these guys. The way I play should piss you off. It does. It does. So much. Solidify. You said you wanted pyro, use pyro. Let's get it on. Hey. Gather. I will have order. Right. Hear me. Yes, I'm attacking him with water. The skill issue. It's like beating your head against the wall for no reason. It's working though. That's the issue. I, I, I win. So much. I hate it. Nebi is a, a powerful boy. Is it what you wish to find? Hopefully. Uh, what is this one again? I don't know. Oh, this is the uh, funny game mode. The what now? Uh, I would show you, but it would spoil what it is. Oh, are you playing Genshin right now? Yes. All right. So trying to get all the events done because my dumbass didn't do it. Makes sense. Four I called it. Uh, let's go. Two Four, coward, do it. No balls. Okay. I, I'll still be able to beat it. I'm just gonna use the most busted characters in the game. So let's get Nicolette, Farina. Oh hey, there's another thingy here. I need another rock. Rock? Like Team Rocket blasting off again? Sure. There we go. Respond. Thank you. That. Honestly, uh, with all the deep rock galactic I've been playing, yeah, Team Rocket doesn't bother me. I love it. Well, how about that? I was lied to. There's no cutscene here. How dare you and Moni lie to me? What? There's no cutscene up here. I thought there was, unless you've already gotten it. No. It's my first time coming up here. Thinking of which? I think I made a grave mistake in my team comp. Why is that? I have Farina on my team, and if you don't know, Farina drains the health of all your characters. Wait, not just herself? Uh, yeah, it's, it's all your teammates. Ooh. Let's get it on. That's why a lot of people don't know if they want to use her or not. I mean, she sounds good to be paired up with the, the fire girl from the funeral home. And, uh, and Jean. Actually, no, she's not. Surprisingly enough. But you're supposed to be literally like on one HP to deal damage with her, aren't you? Yeah, but the thing is, she doesn't apply enough hydro for that to be accountable. Well, how about that? Uh. All right, I'm going higher. What? Why would? What the fuck? Okay. I'll make it. Alright, off the edge with all three of you. Walk off. How did you not fall off? Get out of here. Wait, did they live? No way. Okay, they did. This is order. Solidify! 
Those are really hit gold, isn't it? Hmm. Ah, uh, damn. Whatever. Um. Yeah, let me try this with the uh, prop. The prop team. New left, Farina. Oh, uh, yeah, Miko. And then where's my. There he is. Ugh. What? My dinner isn't sitting right. What do you eat? Um, I had chicken, collard greens, um, and sweet potato. Doesn't sound too bad. Yeah. As long as everything was prepared the right way. No, it, it, it's a matter of fact. I think uh, my day has gotten to me. I've been running around since four in the morning. Jesus Christ. I call dips. <laughs> so you've been torturing yourself since four in the morning. Please stop dying. Alright, I've finally reached the peak. Oh! There we go. What the fuck? How am I supposed to reach that? What? I have to go even higher? What the hell, man? Yeah, you better. Oh, this is silly. Can't reach that. Oh, time to drop then. Damn. I guess I can't get past gold with my team. Times four. I mean, it's still passing, but that's still not the max. What are, what are these things? It's taking damage. Let's get it on. I wonder. Can I get the game to play itself? Hmm. <clears throat> okay, I know what to do here, I think. Let's see if I can get the game to play itself. If I can, I'll be really happy. If I can't... What are you trying to accomplish here? Get the game to play itself? I won't question it. Ah, <clears throat> uh, no, I won't be able to get it to play itself, I don't think. Yeah, no, I won't be able to. There's not enough opponents. <clears throat> not enough opponents for me to get it to play itself, sadly. Blah, 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 blah. Why am I going backwards? There we go. Why are you going backwards? Stop going backwards. Just go forward. Um, actually, you know what? Ah, uh, no, it's not. You'll get you some excuse. Ah! Aha! Oh, so that's what you do. I see. I think I'm gonna use this as an excuse to use Navia. <laughs> Time I'm gonna actually use only Mr. Easy Mode. Yeah, I'm gonna already play in Easy Mode. Alright. 
one. Where does the crystal spawn around here? Here. Let's get it on. I swear this piece of ice looks like I can break it. What the fuck? I'm being trolled. Maybe you can. Ooh, wait, I found another one though that can. Nice. I call dibs. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it's fun using Navia for once. So let me actually just use easy, easy mode now. Oh, wait. I have enough to get a thingy. What a thing. And people are throwing fireworks in the neighborhood. Lovely. Good. I'm gonna throw a firework at you. No, you. What do you mean by that? No, you. You are the firework. You're good. Launch me in the sky. I want to explode. I'm gonna launch you straight into a lake. That works. Yeah. It's not very nice. You know how to swim. It's not that nice, even still. Dude, where the fuck is the last crystal I need? They're not respawning. No way they have limited uses, that's stupid. Ooh, let me just respawn like two times. Yeah, I forgot how good your character is for that area. Who? Uh, your fire lady. Someone complimenting Dea? Really? Yeah, her literal main use is to for Dragon Spine. Oh, I didn't know that, that's cool. It's because of her passive. Fox is passive. Oh, like I think the, it's, I think it's like the more damage. The stuff. Yeah, the auto region stuff. If she re it reaches a certain threshold, she starts regening. Yeah, I know. So it's really good against the cold. Yes, there's a rock up here. <clears throat> Wee. I was promised to you. <clears throat> oh, there we go. Oh, and this is how I'm supposed to get the thing up there, I assume. Cool. Hold on, Paimon. That's a that's a time. tilted ass fucking thing. Hey, you're not freezing anymore. Oh, never mind. 
hopes were up. Hopes were high. I love using Jane for what I'm about to do. Perish. No, my brethren. They're annoying. They always get in the way. I'm glad I unlocked the, the like, hot suit that keeps me warm for longer. Imagine using that. Good soup. Good soup. Uh, are you kidding what is this me? One? Oh. This is even colder than the nights in the desert. Why the what? Huh? Oh. Am I no longer? I'm not gonna be able to use Nuvola anymore. Why is that? I can. One of the uh, areas. It's like, oh, he really going to throw in harder to all enemies. So I was like, oh, no. And then I thought of something. Uh, I'll, I'll just use Riz uh, Risley. I'll just punch all of them really hard. Risley. Risley, Bennett, Sinchu. Um. Well, I'm glad it's not snowstorming anymore. Everything looks so clear and nice. It's so pretty. God. Yeah. I'm lighting these up. <laughs> you wanna light out your house? Joke's on you, it's concrete. Shit ain't burning for a bit. Sign up here? Dig? Ooh, a chest. Nice. Well, how about that? I don't understand how people cannot have fun in this game. Like, I am enjoying myself exploring and doing dumb shit. Fuck you, I don't like exploring games like this. Ah, they're lost. Is there anything around here? No? No? Okay. <gasps> I'm being forced to parkour. Oh no. Gather. Beautiful pylon placement, Zhongli. How? God, I had Ugh. just the amount of stamina to get this. Damn. Oh, hey, I can see the castle in the sky clearer. The, the, the hovering building, the hover, the hover. The building the that used back. to be 2D and now it's 3D and actually has a model. Oh. And I'm gonna jump straight down. Bonk. Perfect. No damage taken at all. Oh boy. Ooh, that's a lot of chests. Maxi. Tidy sum selling some of this. And they're the big ones too.
I got scammed. Chest was empty. Hey, LA lineman. Cool. Hydro damage bonus. Hydro damage and the core of like the ice place. Interesting. I just find it ironic that you get the hydro damage set and the core of the ice place. No, you, you also get ice stuff from it. Oh, cool. So what now? Am I just kind of done with Dragon Spine? I mean, there's a couple of more achievements, but for now. Cool. For now, you're finished with it. God, I just need three more of the crimson thingies. I have an idea. There is one door that I have not been able to open. Let's investigate it. Wanna help me open this door? I don't even remember how to do that door, I'm gonna be honest with you. Oh well, it's, I'm just missing one more rune. I think. There's only space for I one more. I do not remember it, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Oh, there's two. It, it's just lighting up all the runes. I thought you might know where they are without me having to look them up. Nah. Ah, oh, damn it. Oh, let's... I'll check on my phone real quick. When in doubt, Google it. Yep. You know what? Perfect time to take a small break, go to the bathroom, get a snack, and Google. Snack that smiles back. You. What? Universitario, ¿sabes cómo se siente tener una cuenta libre de Oriental? Se siente como cuando sacas A en el examen sin haber estudiado. Se siente como cuando la que te gusta se sienta a tu lado en la clase. 
Se siente como cuando tus papás y tú están de acuerdo con lo que quieres estudiar. Abre la nueva cuenta libre de Oriental Online y siente la libertad de empezar a manejar tu dinero sin limitaciones. Con cero cargos por mantenimiento, ATH móvil, People Pay y mucho más. Oriental, estás más que listo. Abre tu cuenta 100% online. Ciertos términos y condiciones aplican. Oriental Bank, miembro FDIC. Frozen and vanished out of grief in their restless dream that try so hard to breathe pulses flutter and sting.
Alright, alright. I, I, I've decided to end stream. I have been streaming for like four hours, kinda. The, the, the streams with, uh, you know, fucking four frames don't count. Uh, failed streams still count. It's a blooper stream. Blooper stream. Yeah, I'm still Whatever. uploading it. Why not? It must be immortalized. But yeah, I'm gonna hmm. read an old friend of mine that I haven't seen in a while, Ma. <clears throat> Gay. I think she is. Gay. But yeah, thanks for everyone who dropped by. Thanks for Nathan and Donald for dropping by these two chuckleheads. Weren't for them, this shit would not be working right now. Good night and toodles. Yogurt.